Uh -huh. Go well. Hmm? Yeah. Make sure you don't fight at school as you used to do. Do you hear me? Make sure you don't fight at school. Papa, I don't feel like going to talk at times. So. Which one is make sure I don't fight at school? If I have to fight. Because I know what you can do. You always fight at school. Anyway, it's not about the money. Which money? Money for my school fees. Okay, I, my daughter, hi. That is true. That is true. Uh, I swear, I promise to give you the money this morning. But the problem is that the person that's supposed to give me the money did not meet up. So don't worry, I will give you the money oh, this morning. Papa, that's what you have been saying since. That's what you have been saying since. My exams are fast approaching and you are still telling me the same thing you've been saying since last week. But I said I will give you the money now. What is your what problem is this year? What is happening here? What you Why are you speaking to your father like that? Ask her. Mama, it's more Papa. Since last week, now he has been telling me the same thing. He doesn't want to give me money for my school fees. Okay, Mechiano. Nay, I thought you've given her the money like you promised. Eh? Uh, I promised to give her the money. But the person that's supposed to give me the money yesterday disappointed me. Eh? And I, I have explained to her that she wouldn't listen. Eh? I said, I will give you the money. Today is Tuesday. I will give you the money. Don't worry. You had your father. Hmm? He will give you your school fees. Mama. Papa did not hesitate to pay Paul's acceptance fees into the university. He could have easily paid my own when he was paying for Paul's own. But no, he wants me to pay it and that's why he does not want to pay for my own now. Okay, keep quiet, my friend. Don't you know that things are hard? Eh? You think it's easy? Your father will pay your school fees. Why come and be going to school? My dad, the exam is approaching, you know. I know it's approaching. Your father will pay. Be going to school. Go! Okay, lady. Nine. Try and give her this money. Eh? Try and give her this school fees is long overdue. Oh, oh, women, I don't know why you all are the same. Eh? I said I, I, I will give her the money. Eh? So why are you telling me this again? Eh? My friend, go and get me my food. Nine. I'm about going to work. Nine, take it easy now. I will bring your food. You need to take a good Hazuka, I'm ashamed of myself. Uh -uh. Why? Why are you ashamed of yourself? What happened? Don't tell me you've forgotten so soon. What happened earlier today in the class? How the head which mistress put me out on. Hey, Alpha. You insulted me in front of the whole class just because I've not paid my school fees. Oh, come on. You know you're not the only person she spoke to like that. There were other people like that she talked to. And I'm very sure they are not feeling the way you're feeling right now. But mind me, really? what is school fees that my father cannot pay early like other parents? Just look at Tessie and the happiness. I'm sure my father is doing better than their fathers, but they are always first to pay for school fees in our class. They, they never ever pay late or don't even pay at all. But look at me and the embarrassment I'm facing. Why are you talking like this about your father all the time? Are you aware the country is very hard? And speaking about Tessie and um, happiness, do you know how their parents make money no matter how their parents make money as far as the fees are being paid that's what's important tochi you are gradually gradually going mad yes is that an insult to us? yes if insulting you will make you think like a normal human i will do that so now let's leave this place Let's go. Let's leave this place now. Am I not talking to somebody? You're hurting me. Let's go. 
I think we should go and ask them. They're our friends. Let's huh. go. Friends of Kwa. I don't like her. Most especially Toshi. See, I don't understand you. Let's go into the school compound before it's too late. You know, I don't want that wicked uh, prefect to flog us. Me, I don't want to go to that school. I don't want that principal to embarrass me again like she did yesterday. I can't even stand it again. Wait, so you know you're not entering the school compound? Talk more of taking classes. So, why were you prepared for school? Because I didn't want to disobey my parents by not coming to school. Can you listen to yourself? You're fooling yourself! You didn't want to disobey your parents by not coming to school. Yet, you're not in the class. For classes. So now tell me, what did you gain today? Hmm? Tell me. Hey girls, you are here? Yes, we are here. So, can you please keep moving? What's wrong with you? Azuka, are we fighting? Are you not my friend? There's no problem. Touch. I want to talk to you. What is it, Tessie? Can you please excuse me a bit? It's private. Listen. Tochi here is not going anywhere with you. Whatever you have to say, say it here and now. Azuka! What is your own? Eh? Did I call your name? Did I talk to you? Eh? Why are you taking Panadol for another person's headache? Are you okay? Who did they? But don't be ever happy for the sagging of water. Ah! Can't do anything. Let me just please, tell please, you. Please, please, Look please. at this one. Tessie. I will hurt you. I will hurt you. It's it is okay. similar like that. Ah! I will not do you. Can you listen to me? See this girl? Oh? It's okay. Azuka, don't down. worry. I'll meet you in class. Hmm? Don't worry. Let me hear what she has to say. Hmm. Tessie, let's Meet talk. me at the school. Talk to me. Tessie, please. I'm going. Please. I know you have not paid your school fees. What? Is that supposed to be an insult or what? No, I cannot insult you because you are my friend. Listen, I want to help you. Oh. Everything that is sweet ah. oh, yeah. has bitterness. Life is sweet. Don't is bitter. We should be careful. It's so hot. Let me. I don't understand. Is this the type of girl I'm supposed to be here to go and see your uncle? See, Tochi, if you want my uncle to help you, you have to look so sharp. Sexy. Just like this. In fact, look. Bring it down. Hey, come on. Look at you. Bring it down so you look sexy. Mm -hmm. Let's that go. Yes. Put over our bag and like uniform. Don't worry. We'll come back for them. Hmm? Don't worry. Let's go. Everything Let's go. that is sweet has bitterness. Life is sweet, but it's bitter. We should be careful how we live. Sir, my friends, Tessie and Happiness are downstairs. Why did you bring me here? <coughs> Sit down. Sir, Tessie told me she would take me to one of our uncles to help me pay for my school fees. Yes. I will help you. But not by this year. Behavior. How am I behaving? How much is the money we're talking about here? 18,000 naira. 18,000 only. I will give you 40,000 naira. What? Yes. 40,000 naira. Then when you pay your school fees, you keep the remaining one for your upkeeping. <clears throat> yes. I'll give you.
You are happy now, right? Yes. I come closer. I come. You make me happy also. Everything that is sweet has bitterness. Life is sweet, but it's bitter. Stop crying now. I didn't believe you. How can you tell me to stop crying when I'm still feeling pain and you just deceived me into this? Sorry. Because when we do it two or three more again, it will master you. Sins of the mother, sins of the mother, sins of the mother. Oh, oh, oh. This is not a dream, this is real. Whatever you saw in this world is what you mean. This is not a dream. This is real. Whatever you saw in this world is what And my daughter is not back. This is not like how. Eh? Hey. I hope nothing bad has happened to my daughter. Eh? What kind of problem is this? Should I go and look for her in school? Maybe she's having an evening rest. Sins of the mother, sins of the mother, sins of the mother. Oh, this is not a dream. This is real. Whatever you saw in this man is what you mean. This is not a dream. And where are you coming from? Don't you come here? So where are you coming from by this time of the day? From school. From Azuka's house. Azuka's house? Why? What for? Eh? Why would you go to Azuka's house and stay up to this time without coming home first? I I had an assignment. We had an assignment we needed to do together in order to do it well. Hmm. Tochuku, I'm not against you going to your friend's house to do assignments. But you were supposed to come home first and let me know before going. It's only more about Ambanyenu. You almost gave me high blood pressure. Eh? Mama, I'm sorry, it never happened. Better not happen again, no. Or they were from mad. Eh, and when you were coming, I noticed changes. Everything is easy for your eyes. Mama, shall be everything in the where do you take the toy you won't go dressed like this half naked? Eh? Dad, thank you you said I'm half naked. Eh? Hey! Which means I'm not totally naked. I'm okay, right? Jen, <laughs> why do you want to kill me before my time? Get it come, Menegi. Why can't you let me have this in my father's house? Eh? Oh, so you don't you don't know, Abby? You think I don't know? Those small small girls I used to follow around. Look at me. Eh? Are you older than me? Question, are they older than me? What? Mm, what? Jen! Jen, please, have you forgotten that you are my only child? Mm. You don't have even a brother. And you are the only thing left for me, Jen. Is it why you left your school? All you do now is just men all around the city. Jen, what is your problem? Jen! Eh? Dad, are you the hmm? I'm only little. I'm going somewhere. All this thing that you have seen, I don't understand. Eh? What is all this now, father? Jen, will you go back inside? I'm sorry. You see this thing I'm wearing? Eh? This sexy clothes I'm wearing. I'm going out with it. In fact, I have a date with my boyfriend. I don't have time for all this thing. Please don't disturb me again, father. Please. What kind of thing is all this now? So I can never have peace in a father's house. Everything is easy for your eyes. Mama, shall be everything in your hand is easy for your eyes. Uh, but now your hand is easy. Jen! Jen! If you just go to the right there. If you just go to the right there. Can you see the chrony one? Can you see the chrony one? Forget to burn up. No time for darling, you 
just about the day one Man, I'm gonna enjoy your life to the fullest Forget tomorrow and then No time for darling Kai Bali Wakoso Patricia Patricia Where is Dochi? She's inside. Mm -hmm. uh, this one that you came back, you did not even tell me anything. Eh? You know that you went somewhere and we are expecting something to come out from that place. And you did not even tell me anything. Uh, I went somewhere and I've seen the person I went to see and we have discussed. Eh? Uh, so how did it go? Question and answer. I said I have seen the person and we have discussed. My friend called Dochi for me. Mm -hmm. Is that your school fees? 18,000 yeah. 18,000. You know, you are my daughter. I can do anything for you. Enjoy your life, Forget tomorrow. One day, no time for darling. I believe just go so good. If it's just about me, they want my name. Enjoy your life, go to the fullest. Forget tomorrow. <laughs> this is twenty thousand naira. Pay your school fees with eighteen thousand naira, and keep the two thousand naira in case if you want to buy all these small small things. Eh? What? Twenty thousand naira, Papa? Oh my God! Don't you go. What is it? This is supposed to make you happy now. Why are you crying? Mama, you will not understand. These are tears of joy. I'm very happy. Didn't you expect to uh, get the money today? I don't understand. We have been on this matter since. Thank you, Papa. Hey. Nani, what, what is the meaning of this one? She's eh? your daughter. You should go and ask her. Eh, Nani. Keep on Maka. Eh, 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 Put it on that. You need the money. I need and that's what you should tell me that hey, you need the money. Hey, hey, last, let me give you money. money. Are you not my wife? Hey, give me money, like. I, Wait, wait. This money I'm giving you now. By tomorrow, I want to eat in salad soup. <laughs> I want to eat in salad soup. Since of the mother, since of the mother, since of the mother. I don't see my school. I can't see this old stuff for money that my father just gave me. This is not a dream. This is real. Whatever you saw in this world. No, what do I do with this money? This is not a dream. This is real. Whatever you saw in this world is what you mean. This is not a dream. This is real. Whatever you saw in this world is what you need. Why are you going to school without eating your food? Eh? No, I'm not hungry. <laughs> you are not hungry. Tochku, since when did that one start? 
eh? That you go to school without eating and you be telling me, Mama, I'm not hungry. Are you okay? Mama, I'm fine. I don't just have appetite to eat. You don't have appetite? Don't you? And it's as if you've put on some weight. Are you sure you are fine, don't you? No, I'm fine. I have to wash for school. Everything is easy for your eyes. Mama, shall be everything in day. Hey, is my daughter sick and she's hiding this from me or what? How can she not be eating and and, and she's adding weight? Hey, she, I I I hope she's fine. Oh. Hmm. It's okay. Mm -hmm. What do you have to say? Hmm. Yes, I don't know. For some days now, I've been feeling somehow. I'm feeling very weak. Even when I'm taking my bath and I touch my breast, my nipples hurt. I've never seen my period since last month. I don't know what to think of it. Hey, you mean all this is happening to you? Yes. I don't want to believe that you're pregnant. What? Pregnant? Ha! Let's not think to that direction, no. That can't happen. That, don't, let's not even think that way. Ha! Don't cause of this thing. Pregnant. I'm not sure yet. Let me ask you. That very day that you slept with Chief Izogu, did you remember him using protection on you? Prote protection? Hey! Don't you, that is it though. What hey. is what? We don't have to conclude yet. You see, we are going to run a pregnancy test now. Ha. Let's go, let's go. Let's not be true. We have to forget about school today. No, I cannot happen, no. Don't you, you are waiting for school. Let's go. So, I'm really pregnant. See, you are killed me. See, Tochi. You don't have to blame me. I just helped you and it's worked. Eh? We have to look for a solution. Okay, tell me. Now, how can I go to school with this condition? No, tell me, what's the use of this school? Like, what's the purpose now? How? You don't have to blame me. See? I have to call Chief Izogo. At least let him know what is happening. This is my dream. This is real. Whatever you saw in this world is what you mean. This is my dream. This is real. Whatever you saw in this world is what you mean. This is my dream. Tuchi, his number is off. What do we do now? Asking me what do we do? After you deceived me to this, you're asking me what do we do? I'm sorry. See, there's this place that Chief Zogu used to take me to do abortion. Yes, I have done it there several times, and it worked. See, the doctor is very perfect. He will help you. Wait, Tessie. You mean to tell me that you have done abortion many times? It's not a new thing. Huh. I do not see anything that is wrong there. We have to go. We don't have another option. Please come with me. Since of the mother. Since of the mother. Yes, as you can see, Mama, we're going out. What is it? Doctor, my friend is pregnant. And I want you to get rid of it. Remember you have been helping me. Help her, please. And money can never be a problem. I promise you that. We'll pay you well. Please. You, you, you're crying. No, you're crying. When you were busy jumping from one bed to another, sleeping with different men, you never knew it would result to this. Now look at what you've done to yourself. A small girl like you. By the way, how old are you? I'm 18 years, sir. 18 years? 
Incredible. I believe your parents sent you to school to be useful to yourself. Isn't it? Yes. And you're busy sleeping around. I'm disappointed. I'm sorry, sir. It won't happen again. You better be sorry for yourself. Sorry. So, how will your parents feel if they find out you're pregnant? I'm asking you. So you can say whatever you feel like saying to me. You can even beat me if you want. I won't blame you. My friend Azuka warned me about my relationship with Tessie. But I wouldn't deceive. Now she deceived and pushed me into this. Tochi! Why are you saying this? Will you shut up? One more word from you. Of course, I know you are the cause of everything. You're already a condemned girl. I know how many times you've came to this hospital. You've done abortions with different girls. Now you've succeeded in ruining this small girl's life. I'm highly disappointed. Doctor, I'm sorry. You better be sorry for yourself. Yes. So tell me, who is responsible for this pregnancy? There's one chief. Is your dog. I did it with him because I needed to pay for my school fees. Shit. That man again. This leave us. I should go. I say leave us. Doctor, I heard of someone that did it and didn't come out alive, and I'm scared. Good, good. Now you're talking. Now listen, I will make provision of where you're going to stay that will be very safe. Someone that will take care of you till you put to bed. How about that? Thank you, Doctor. I really like that. I really appreciate it. I don't just want my parents to find out about this. Okay. No problem. But the problem is, what are you going to tell your parents where you're going to? What will you tell them? Don't worry, doctor. I'll think of something. I can handle it. You can handle that? Yes, doctor. Okay. If that is the case, no problem. Um, if this fool, this person you call a friend, if she asks you, just tell her I say you should come in the evening for the abortion. Okay, doctor. Is that okay? What are you doing in my house? Your girlfriend is pregnant. My, girlf my girlfriend is pregnant. Who is she? Touch you now. The small girl that you disvirgin and gave her 40,000 naira. Who? Oh, that small black girl. Oh, thank God you remember. Eh, but that's not the reason you should come to my house without even calling me on phone. Eh? You're supposed to call me on phone. If my daughter now hear what we are saying, what would you say? Look at this man, oh. I will tell her what happened now. Eh? Sure. I will tell her what happened. That I pregnant a woman. Before uncle, eh? Have you not been doing that with so many girls, eh? Even Tessie, including me here, eh? Is it because of this small, small change, ch ch chicken change that you used to give us by now? <laughs> okay. You call it small, small change. Then what do we do? Ask you, Joa. Terminate the pregnancy. Terminate the pregnancy. Okay. I'm coming. Mm -hmm. Let's go to this. Let's go to this. Ask you, Joa. Terminate. Seventy thousand naira. Seventy thousand naira. Yes. What of my transport? Your transport is there. Twenty thousand naira. Ah. Uh -uh. yeah. See, go and meet Doctor Eze. Tell him that it's me. He will know what to do. I, I, I don't want to hear any excuses. Eh. Yeah. Should go and meet Doctor Eze, Abi. Doctor Eze. Okay, no problem. <laughs> Thank you. See, make sure you do it well. Everything work perfectly. I'm here. I don't want to hear no excuse. I beg you, I don't hear it. 
Look at them. What is happening here? Who is she? And what is that money for? I will explain to you later. Let's go inside. What is me or that? Eh? Okay, okay. I I I want her to give my friend. In short. I gave her to um, ah, ah, why must I uh, explain to you? Ah, you see, I don't trust you. Did I don't trust that girl. You see, her eyes, they were shining like a cat. Eh? Father! Eh hey! Overhead! What did I even hear? Talking about pregnancy, yes. Father, did you get her pregnant? Nonsense. Hey! Look at this man. I don't trust him. I don't even trust that. Is she pregnant for him? <laughs> Father, wait! No contest. Father! Wait, you must expect me. Everything is easy for your eyes. Mama. She be everything in daisy for your eyes, yeah. Ah, but now you're handy, babe. Now you're handy, babe. If you just go. See, money. Plenty money. Hey! So, I should not carry this plenty money. I'm going to give it to Toshi Abi. Eh? The money this foolish man gave me, she can't even can give it to Toshi. No, it's not only Toshi. The day Toshi visited him at the hotel, he gave Toshi 40,000 naira. And Toshi did not even bother to give me hotel, even 1,000. So I will not carry this plenty, plenty money. I'm going to give it to Toshi. No, it's not only Toshi. Same money. <laughs> if so she like, let her give birth to twins. No, in fact, triplets. <laughs> one born twins. One born triplets. It's not my business. This one. <laughs> oh, thank you, Chief. Nine. Let me give you. Why again? Eat your food. Nah, I mean, you make my hair cut longer. Get back on what you do. Eh, you make my hair cut longer, dear. Everything is easy for your eyes, mama. She be everything in day easy for your eyes, ah. But now you're handy, babe. Now you're handy, babe. If you just go to the right Have you eaten your food? Yes, mama. Uh, please, uh, Tochuku, make sure you come back early from school. Then come to the shop and pick what you use to prepare dinner, okay? Okay, Mama. Tochuku, come here. Turn your back. This your bag is so big. What is inside it? Papa, we're having exams, so I started to bring all my notebooks from school back home so I can read well. Your books. Turn well, turn well, let me look at it. Your books. Nah. Uh, this is the bag she's been going to school with now. What is the difference in this bag now? The difference is that the bag is too big. What is inside that bag? The bag has always been. Your bag. books. Okay. Sins of the mother. Sins of the mother. Sing something, mother. Oh, 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 this is not a dream. This is real. Whatever you saw in this world is what you mean. This is not a dream. This is real. Whatever you saw in this world is what you mean. This is not a dream. This is real. Ah. Where are you going to? This is not the way to our school. I'm going to run an errand for my mom. Okay, in that case, I'm going to follow you and we will go to school afterwards. Oh, don't worry, I'll meet you in school short. Why? You see, I've been observing you closely. You no longer come to school. You don't visit me at 
home anymore. All this started when you became so close to Tessie. Is there anything you're not telling me? But why would you think that? I can't hide anything from you now. Don't worry, eh? Let me quickly rush and come back. I'll meet you in school. Okay. Since of the mother, since of the mother, since of the mother, oh. She's really hiding something from me. But soon, I'll find out. This is real. Whatever you saw in this world is what you need. That's all. You're welcome. Mr. Vivian, how are you? I'm fine. Okay. My dear, you're welcome. Thank Let's you. go inside. No, don't worry, don't worry. We are, I'm in a hurry. Um, you remember the girl I told you about on phone the other day? Yes, yes. Yes. This is the girl I told you about the other day on phone. Yes. Okay, good. This is my sister, Sister Vivian, I told you that will be coming to stay with you. Good day, ma. You're welcome. What is that your name again? Tochi, ma. Tochi. Tochi, you're welcome. Um, be free. Feel free. Make yourself comfortable. Hmm? I promise to. I promise you'll be fine. Thank you. It's okay. It's okay. I better to take my leave now. Uh, please, Tochi, remember what I told you. Do not hesitate. Anything you need, just ask her. She'll provide it for you. It's okay. Let's get to the car. You bring your bag. I'm afraid. Don't know where to go now. Tochuku is not back. Tochuku is not back? She's not back from school. Meaning? I've not seen her since she left in the morning. I've not seen Tochuku. Did you send her somewhere? No, I did not send her anywhere. The two of us were here in the morning when she was leaving. I told her to come to the shop and pick what she would use for dinner. She did not come. I came back now. I did not see her. I don't know where she is. Hey. Wait. Wait. That big bag she was carrying in the morning. Are you sure she did not travel? Travel by night. Travel to where now? Where does she know that she wants to travel to? And now. Oh, eh? But wait, 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 wait. Are you sure she's not in her friend's house? That, that's little Azoka. Uh, that's Azoka. Uh, I don't know now. Because last time uh, she came back late. You told me uh, uh, she was there doing her assignment. Yes, yes, Are you yes, sure yes, she's yes. not there for her assignment? Maybe, maybe she is, Nai. Let's go. Let's, let's go and check. You do lock the door. Nai, leave the door. Let's go. Let's go. Everything is easy for your eyes. Mama, she be everything in the easy for your eyes. Ah, what's in your happiness? You mean you are pregnant? <laughs> yes. Hey! Please, how could you? Eh? How could you do this kind of mistake? Eh? A big girl like you. Happiness. Ah. Happiness. <laughs> Let me ask you, who is responsible? Is Tim Tio Filoso? My father has sworn that I must marry. <laughs> Happiness. I'm you see this time, you have to carry ah, This life is full of fun. Ah, just to play you again very well. I don't want to make it. My kids are making it. Hey, yeah, I'm a jackie. Get it to where you want in this life. There you are, honey. Use what you have, get what you don't have. Enjoy your life to the fullest. Forget tomorrow. One day, no time for darling. What will I do? What will I do to stop my daughter from this her behavior? Hmm? Hi. 
She even dropped out of school. Just with chasing men around. Ah. I even promise. Even to take her to make her graduate. The last thing I did. My God, what will I do? What will I do to stop my daughter from this kind of life she's living? She even dropped out of school just to be chasing men around. Hi. I even want her to graduate. Even though if the last thing I did for her. Enjoy your life to the fullest. Forget tomorrow. One day, no time for you. Boyfriends. What should I do? What should I do? Jay, you don't fuck up. Jay, you don't fuck up. <laughs> hey! Hey! Okay. Oh, Sean. I think that's the only alternative. Jay, you want to go for a book, Sean? No? Yeah. Hey! Don't fuck up. When I be pregnant, I mean, we'll be sharp again. I can't give birth to this child though. My father will disown me. I can't give birth to this child. I have to go for abortion. Just a player again, very well. I don't want a mugger. Makir or mugger. Yeah, I'm a jaggy. Anything where you want in this life, there you hand you. Use what you have, get what you don't have. Wanna... Enjoy your life to the fullest. Forget tomorrow, one day. No time for darling. If you choose to go, if you choose to go, what do I do now? What will I do? to stop my daughter from living this kind of life she's living. She refused to go back to school to finish her education and become a graduate. At least, let it be what she has achieved in her life. But instead, she's busy chasing after men here and there. But come on. By the way, how did she know that I have some small, small girls as a friend? Who told her? Anyway, that's not, that one will not bother me. My concern is to make her be useful for herself. I have the money to give her the best education in her life. But she's not helping matters. What do I do now? What do I do? What have I done to myself? Look at how my reckless life destroyed my life and the life of my daughter. Even my wife also died on heart attack because of my reckless life. <sighs> now I'm alone. No wife, 
no son, no daughter. Who will replace me in my family? Hmm. Life. Life. Now I know that nothing lasts forever in this world. I advise my fellow men to learn from my past, from my past experience. I am now waiting for the day my Creator will call upon me to leave this world to come and answer for my case how I spend my life on earth. Everything is easy for your eyes. Hmm. Mama, God, please baby, forgive me. Forgive me, O oh Lord. Forgive me. If you choose good, I did. If you choose bad, I did. Mana. I am bitter. It looks like dream, but it's not dream at all. My past life. My mistake, I wish I can turn the hand of time again. Oh, I am a woman. I am a woman. Jen! Jen, please stand up. Please stand up. Please forgive me, Jen, please. Jen! No stand up, stand up. No stand up. Jen! Oh my goodness. Hey! This is not a dream. My only child. This is Jen, dream. please stand up. Jen, please Whatever stand up. Stand up. Hey! This is not a dream. I didn't try her well. This is Oh my god. Jen, please. Whatever you please saw stand up. Please wake up. Please wake up. This is not a dream. This is real. Whatever you saw in this world is what you read. Happiness, what is wrong with you? Eh? You look so sick and tattered. Wait, does it mean that your husband is not taking good care of you or what? Eh? Person. I am not sick, but do I look better than a sick person? Eh? My dear, I'm in hell in that house. In the house of his three lioness called wives. See, Tessie, I cannot drink water peacefully and keep the cup every day. Ah. Every day in that house is one problem to another. My prayer is that I give birth to my child, if possible. Wait, wait. Does it mean that your husband is not even doing anything to stop those women from tormenting you? That hmm? one. Please, let's not go there. My only prayer, I'm praying to God, I've made the mistake go. But I deliver my child safely. Well, I don't even know what to say. But you have to carry your cross. Ibago bone ibago. Yes, so you cannot come out. You have entered. So you have to know how to fix things. Tessie, you lied. See this particular marriage. It's not a do or die affair. Uh. Eh, eh. You think so? Yes, I know so. Me, happiness. Ah. I know so. Let me uh, run along. You can go back out. Everything is easy for your eyes. Mama, she be everything in the easy for your eyes. Ah, but now you're handy, babe. Now you're handy, babe. If you just. I'm afraid. Don't know where to go now. may have put you down, down. But they will not last 
How are you? Doctor, I'm not fine. No. This baby just dancing inside his my tummy. I don't even understand. Fine, it will soon be over. That's why I'm here, okay? Just relax, you'll be fine. It's alright. I can see exactly. you are doing some exercise. Yes. Huh? Just continue. Okay. I am tired. No, you don't have to be tired. It's for your own good, okay? Okay, now that I'm here, alright, let's go. Oh, yeah. Up. Okay. Down. Up. Up. Ah, doctor. Okay, it's okay. Loss. Oh. Get it back. Yes, it's okay. Let's go. Let's go. Don't worry. Don't worry. Loss, fast. Oh, doctor. Just try. Just try. Don't know where to go. may have put you down Congratulations. She delivered a bouncing baby girl. You mean Tochi delivered a baby girl? Exactly. And um, what about she, she, Tochi? Oh, you need not to bother. She's perfectly okay. What you do right now, you join her in the room, you join the nurse, and clean up the room. Immediately. Everything is easy. It's getting to 11 months now since my sister Tochi went missing. And the police are not doing or saying anything about it. Despite all the money you gave to them. Does it mean that what the second prophet prophesied? I mean, what is she? What he said, does it mean that it's true? I mean, does it mean that it's true? Eh? My son, what do you want me to do? I am tired, I am confused. The three prophets we went to said three different things. The first one said that Tochi escaped in the cage, waiting for her turn to be used for sacrifice. Then the second one said that Tochi is dead. That her body has been cut into pieces. 
But the third one, the third one said that Tochi is alive. That she will return. Then which one do I follow? Which one do I believe? Which one do I take? Nay. Eh? Nay. I believe that my daughter is alive. And she will return to us in this house. Although in my dream she wasn't feeling fine, but I know. I know that God will bring back my daughter. I don't care if she's feeling fine or not feeling fine. But I will see my daughter. She will return to me in this house. She will return to me in this house. I will see my daughter in this house. Okay. I will see my daughter. Sins of the mother. Sins of the mother. Sins of the mother. Oh, oh, oh. This is not a dream. This is real. Whatever you saw in this world is what you mean. This is not a dream. This is real. Whatever you saw in this world is what you mean. This is not a dream. This is real. Whatever you saw in this world is what you mean. It looks like dream, but it's not dream at all. My past life, my mistake. I wish I can turn the hand of time again. Oh, I'm in the womb. I'm My dear. What is it? You look worried. Auntie, something has been bothering me. And what is that? I've been wanting to ask you this. Okay. Go ahead. Ever since I came to your house, I've not seen any child or children around. But I've seen wedding photos with three different men, three different wedding arrangements, but I'm not seeing any man. <laughs> hey. My daughter, it's a long story. Hmm? Leave that for another day. I'm ready to hear it all. I don't have anything doing. You say what? You want me to tell you? Yes, please. <sighs> okay. I will tell you. My daughter, when I was in my 20s, during my period of university, I met with bad girls. You know university? Yeah. Both bad and good ones. Unfortunately to me, foolishly, I followed the bad ones. Sleeping with different men. Yeah. Doing series of abortions. Taking pills like water, clubbing around, drinking all kinds of alcohol, thinking I was living a better life. I didn't know I was destroying my future. When I was finally done with school, I got a nice job and I got married. After some years, 
I couldn't conceive. I couldn't bear my husband, any child. He got another girl pregnant outside the house. He threw me out. got married again the second time. The same thing, <laughs> the same thing happened. <laughs> it was after some years of my third marriage. My daughter, Sorry about that. It's okay. So you mean to tell me Dr. Izzy is not your brother? <laughs> no. He is not my brother. He is my doctor. Who promised me that he will make me happy if he sees the opportunity. Yes. Why he brought you to me. But I have a sister. Her name is Esther. She's married and with kids. I'm afraid. <laughs> Don't know where to go now. It's okay. Hard times may have put you down. When do you want us to see? Tomorrow. By what time? Tomorrow. By 10 o'clock. In the morning. No problem. No problem. Oh. Tochi. Ah, Tochi. Why are you dressed in your school uniform? Carrying the baby with bag? Huh? Auntie. I've been wanting to tell you this since last night, but you came back home late. What is it you wanted to tell me? Oh, Mama. What is it? I'm not ready to be a mother. You can keep her. I'm afraid. Why are you doing this? Where are you going? Don't know where to go. Now. Where do you want to go? I think it's best I go back to my parents' house. I go back to my parents' house. They must be looking for me. They might even think I'm dead. I want to go and speak to them on my life. Tochi, you said something about the baby. Where will you tell your parents that you have been? Don't worry. I can handle that. Tochi. Okay, let me get some money. Oh, you've done more than enough for me. I'm afraid, afraid. Oh, Tochi. Don't know where to go. What now. name will I give the baby? Like I said, she's your baby. You can name her whatever you feel like. I don't know where to go. name will I give to you? I'm afraid. I name you Joy. Everything that is sweet has bitterness. Life is sweet, but it's bitter. We should be careful how we live our life. Is that not my sister, Toji? Mama? Who you are like? Mama? Eh? Papa? Oh, why are you shouting? You mean like Hey! She like it! Don't you go, Hey! Don't you go? Who you are like? What is happening here? Hey! No, 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 no,
Who was held on that captive? Honestly, yes. they really took good care of you. They feed these girls well and buy cream for them for them to look attractive to these men. Hey. That didn't stop me. I kept praying. I kept fasting mm. because I just didn't want to live that kind of life. That's how the head called us this morning, me and two other girls. And they asked us to go. At first, I thought maybe it was a trap or something. He even gave us transport fare. That's how we now left home. That's how I got here. Thank you. Thank you, Father, for bringing our daughter back to us in safety. Hey! Wait, wait, wait. I want to understand something. Dochi, that particular morning, this incident happened. You left this house with that big bag. We went to your friend's house, Azoka, and they asked her if she saw you anywhere. She said yes, she saw you, that you told her that your mother sent you on an errand. Where were you going that day? Yes, that's true. Ha! Papa, Azuka said she saw me that money. Where? How? Are you telling us that you did not see Azuka that day? Or telling her that uh, your mother here sent you somewhere? Hmm. I didn't too. Because why did she help me when they were kidnapping me? Oh, okay, Nani. Let us leave all these arguments, eh? Let's just thank God for bringing our daughter back to us in safety. <laughs> yes. And also thank God for the kidnappers that gave her transport <laughs> to come back home. Yes, so. Eh? Okay. Can you buy a carry con? Eh? Everything is easy for your eyes. Mama, she be everything in the easy for your eyes. Mama. I have to go in now and start packing so we can go back to the city. Eh? You know, my husband Steve, he has been calling consistently that we should come back. <laughs> Mother, my husband, eh? <laughs> he doesn't joke with Junior and I. <laughs> I know, I know. So I, I just, I have to go. I've been waiting for Papa. Where did he go to? I don't even know where he went to that meeting eh? Your father. <laughs> Don't worry, my daughter. But I just wish. don't worry. Don't worry. I'll visit again, but that will be after I have put to bed. You know, girl? It's okay. <laughs> but I really wish that you were my grandson. You mm. spend more mm. days Look at with you. Us. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, I would have really loved to do that. <laughs> but for my husband, who has been calling, I, I know he has really missed us. Let me go now. You man, no dinner wine. You know, I know. I'm going to have Hey, let me go and wake him, Junior, up and so that we can start getting ready. No, no go. Problem. But tell him that one of these days I will come and visit you in the city. Oh, my that will be nice. I can't wait to have you. Hey, my daughter. Are you not done eating? I'm almost done, mommy. Please be 
fast. Let me take you to school. Mm -hmm. Wait. Are you going to school with all these books? Yes, mommy. Ah, hurry up. Let me just wash up. No, 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 no. Leave it. Leave it when you come back from school and wash them. Let me get my shoes then. Okay. Please hurry up and meet me outside. Okay, boss. Too much love. Everywhere. Too much blessings. Oh my god. to please my daughter no I want to talk to you I want to tell you something whatever ah. it is you want to say can wait now Biko let's just go please take my phone Hello, hello, doctor. My mom wants to talk to you. <laughs> doctor. <laughs> doctor. The sickness has started again. I'm not sure. me to the hospital. Mommy. Mommy. Ah! Mommy, please. Ah. Mommy. Mommy, please, let's just go, please. Joy. My daughter. I want to talk to you. Some years back, a pregnant girl came to me. She pleaded to me to allow her to stay in my house and deliver her baby. Because she doesn't want her parents to find out that she was pregnant. She's just 18 years old. Was still in secondary school. Ah! Hey, oh, mommy, ah! Ah! Now, please, please, mommy. No. After she gave birth to the baby, she 
decided to walk away. She abandoned the child when I confronted her. She told me she didn't need the baby. Oh, oh. Mom, I told me. Mom. Oh. Mom, please. Please, let's just go to the hospital. I'm begging you. Oh, Biko, please. I'm telling you this because you are the baby. Oh, God. Hear my cry. What? I have no father. Me? I have no mother. Yes. Get you alone. You are the baby. Me? No, no, it's not true, mommy. You're just saying that. Please, we need, we need to go to the hospital, please. Oi. My daughter Joy. You see, I'm telling you this because if I don't. People may not tell you the way you will understand it. Yes. Ah. My, my Tommy. Tommy. Joey. You are not my biological daughter. <laughs> I am not your biological mother. Oh yes. But... Ah, no matter what. You belong to my family. Let's just go to the hospital. Please, God, please. 
I will forever be grateful. And I will worship you with all my hands. God, please. God, please help me. I am sorry, God. Even if it's just a shower, God, God, please help me. I am sorry, Lord. I am sorry, Lord. I am sorry, Lord. I am sorry. I am sorry, Lord. Have mercy. Have mercy. I know I've seen a thought in my mind. Please give me even if it's a shower, just one. I am here, Lord. <laughs> 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 Of a great man. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, I miss my father. His death left a pain in my heart that can never be filled. My my father was a good man. Of course, such a nice man. Yeah. And trust me when I say my next world, I would definitely, definitely would want that man as my father-in-law. Oh. Oh, honey, that's so sweet. <laughs> yes, of course. You know, now it's just my mother in that whole house. Mm. Honestly, I don't even know how she's going to cope. You, you know, Paul, my brother, is now married and he's staying with the family abroad. Yes. So yes. I don't know. I don't know how she's going to cope. Well, um, that's not too much of a bother. Why don't you just, you know, invite her over, let her come stay here with us? Eh? Yes. My mother? Yes. <laughs> 
coming to the city. Ah, you, you don't even know that woman. You know that is not possible. She will not do it. She will just tell you what am I coming to the city to do. Oh, but I, I really don't know how she's going to cope all by herself. Well, in that case, um, we'll just have to find somebody who will stay with her. You know, help out with all the necessary chores like oh, cleaning the compound, baby. washing the plates, you know, helping her out. Oh, baby, you're so sweet. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> you're welcome. You're welcome. In that case, I'm going to call her sister, Auntie, um, Auntie Rebecca. Let her start searching for someone. All right. <laughs> okay. And... Um, Whoever the person is, will pay. Okay? Oh, baby. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder what my world would have looked like without you. Much love mm. I, know. <laughs> Much love. I love the way you love me. You can, you can, you can back here. What's this? What's this? Which child is eating it with you? Seriously, have you asked yourself that question? Do you know you are a fool? Do you know you are a fool? Oh, you want to talk to me, Nanabi? Wait, let me ask you. In case you have forgotten, we did it for seven years before we got married. I got pregnant for you four good times. What did you do? You asked me to abort it because I'm not ready to father a child. Oh, now you are ready to father a child. Everything is blocked. Eh? Will you shut up your mouth? Just look at yourself, please. Do you see the reason I say that you are a fool? I asked you to abort a baby, you abort it. Do you see? So if I ask you to go and kiss somebody, you go and kiss somebody. This, do you see that you are a fool? You are just a mistake to me. If I had, if I had known this, that you are like this, I wouldn't have married you this. You are just a mistake. Me? A mistake? Me, this a mistake you can eh? Okay. You are you are yourself with so many abortions, you don't even have a room anymore. You are you are here in my house telling me about food. You know this problem. You have so much to do with it. Yes! I don't care. Excuse me. They are coming to me. Yes, I don't care, my man. You do that with me now. It would happen. It would happen. It would happen. I know what to do. I know what to do. Like, do whatever you want to do. The only thing I do is I will marry her now. No way. You come and meet me. You do anything I want. Get up, I want us to talk. Oh, this woman. Uh, uh, allow me to sleep now. Let me rest. It's past midnight. Oh. Uh, please get up. I want us to talk right now, Frank. Okay, what is it? Frank, I don't understand you. Why are you running away from going to the hospital? What is chasing you from the hospital to do tests? that will be good for you and I. You don't even care about the test that I've done. You don't even ask me how far with the test I've done. What's going on with you? How will I follow you to the hospital when I know that I'm okay and perfectly well? I'm healthy. You can't cease to amaze me, Frank. You're perfectly well, you're healthy. Frank, I have been to the hospital several times. I've done multiple of tests. All have proven that I am okay. Nothing is wrong with me. 
You've not done one, one, one like this is not done. You've not even gone to the hospital. Not, not talk of doing tests. Frank, what is it? I don't understand. What's going on with you? You say you're okay. But if I bring medicine in this house, you'll be the first person to finish it. And you still claim that you're healthy and perfectly well. Can you hear yourself? Can you hear yourself, Frank? So joining you to take the medicine you bring home is not a crime. Because I'm helping you to solve the problem we have in this house. Eh, don't worry. I know what to do. From this day onward, I will never take any medicine you bring home. Hey, helping me. Frank, you say you're helping me to solve the problem. So it's not my problem, it's not our problem. Frank, I don't understand you anymore, sincerely. You're okay. You're perfectly well, but you finished the drugs in the house. Something is wrong somewhere. Frank, is there something you're covering up? Is there something you're not telling me? Because I want to know. Are you important? Hmm? I ask, are you important? Tell me now so I can leave, so I can find my way because I don't understand this. You don't want to go to the hospital. You don't even want to do tests. You finish the medicine in the house and you still claim you're okay. No, 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 Frank, you're important. I'm telling you that you're impotent, Frank. Put me wrong and let's go to the hospital. Yes. You mean impotent? And you said you want to leave. Okay. Excuse me. Frank, you want to sleep? I can sleep. It's alright. Frank, you will sleep. I, I know what to do. Mommy, why are you doing this? Why are you doing this to me? Please, mommy, just open your eyes. Please. Please don't leave me. Please, mommy, I'm begging you. Just say something to me. I stay with who will take care of me who will be there for me just who and now you told me you are not my biological mother how do you want me to feel how do you want me to cope I don't even know where my supposed biological mother is what she looks like where she's I, I, I don't know anything Please, mommy, please. I'm begging you. I don't know where to start from. Just don't leave me, please. Please, mommy. Say something. Just open your eyes, please. Joy. This is why you're crying. Is my sister's sickness that serious? Since we came, she has been like this. She has not said a word or even opened her, her eyes. Then the doctor said she has cancer of the lungs. What? Cancer of the lungs? And that it has got into the final stage. What? Oh my God. Sister. Mm -hmm. Sorry, my sister. Nothing will happen to you in Jesus' name. Hey. Nothing will happen to her. Nothing can happen to her. Mommy, just open your eyes, please. Please. She should not die, you. Yes. Who will pay my children's school fees again? Hey. I'm sorry, sister. Joy. Mommy. Mommy. Joy. Mommy, I'm here. I'm here. Where is my sister? Esther. I'm here, sister, and I'm here. Esther. Esther. Yes, sister. Esther. Sister. Please take care of my daughter Joy. I don't want her to suffer, to lack anything. 
you remember what I told you about how she, 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 she came into my life and made my life better? Please. I don't want her to lack anything, especially her school. My daughter Joy now is your responsibility. Please promise me you will take good care of her. Because of Joy, I'm dying a happy woman. Sister, don't, don't say this. Don't, you're not dying. Yes. You will not die, sister. Yes, don't die. You will not die, Jesus' name. Please, please don't die. Don't die. Don't die. Please, you will do everything for me. Please don't die. Don't say this, please. Remember all I told you. Sister, please, just think. I told you. Promise me. I will, I will, sister. I will, I will. Joy. Mommy. Joy. Mommy. Give, give me your hand. Esther. Sister. Is inside the car. Where is the key to the house? I have it. Give it to me. Give it to me. Give it to me. Come on, go and bring them out. I'm going inside, madam. Why, why would you ask only uh, Joy to get all the whole things in the house? What happens to my hand and, and that of Isabel? Dad, are you not here? Are you not saying anything? What do you want me to say? Your mom has a financy. She's in charge. Chike, get inside. Mom. Isabella, let's go. Don't, don't, don't. Chike, is it me your mother? You're talking to like this. Don't get me angry, Chike. Isabella, where are you going? Come and carry the bag. Don't show me. Chike, but we already asked. So this is our house now. Mm, this house is beautiful. You can say that again. <laughs> Point of correction, young girl. This house doesn't belong to us. This house belongs to late Auntie Vivian. Our father here doesn't even have the money to put up this kind of structure. As a matter of fact, this house belongs to Joy. Chike, are you mad? Are you mad, Chike? Why would you tell your sister that this house does not belong to your father? Mom, let the truth be told. This house doesn't belong to our father. This house belongs to Lady Auntie Vivian. We all know this. See, you all I know that. If not that Auntie Vivian died, we all here would have been chased out by our landlord. And you know what that means? Embarrassment. So let's just say the truth. Chicken, get out of here. Get out! Get out of here! Mom, I'm just saying the truth. It's just a second inside. Mom, please, 
I would always want to tell you the truth. You see the way you spoke to Joy earlier today? That was nice. Okay, I saw it and I felt it. That was just harsh. I just want to tell you. Get out! I think it out! Chicken! So because I'm keeping quiet, that is why you're running your mouth! Running your mouth! Eh? That's why you're running your mouth anyhow! One more word from you. One more word from you, you see what I will do to you. What I get up from here? I'm off here. Can you imagine this? This boy is gradually losing it. Is he going mental or what? What is wrong with him? I don't know. Maybe he has the best smoke is out. Is he smoking? I suspect that. Because the way he talks to us now, without fear. I have no father. I have no mother. So, Mommy, Vivian isn't my biological mother. And now she's dead. Leaving me in the hands of, of this family that I don't even know what my fate will be. But still, Mommy Vivian treated me like I was a biological daughter. She took care of me. God, please help me. I really don't know the hell I'll go through living with this family. Oh, my biological mother. Who is she? Where is she? If I even see her, will I recognize her? Does she know me? I have no father, have no mother. It's you alone. God, please help me. Is she doing here? Hey, young lady, what are you doing here? Have I not warned you never to come and sit in the second room? Have I not? But, Auntie, this is my house. This is where I live with my mommy. Point of correction! My late sister Vivian was never your mother. You are not related to her by blood. So don't call her your mother. She's not. Because you are living under the same roof with my family, you now felt you have the right to sit in my sitting room and be watching television. Right now, get up from there. Get into your room. Go and pack your things and move to the boys' quarter. I'm afraid. Please, honey, let this poor girl be. She can stay with us. And I said no. Please, mom, now, please. Come on, mom, please. Please, she, let her stay. Please. please. I refuse. She is moving to the boys' quarters. I said, get out! Forever. They said I'm young. You'll be wise and strong. Enough of all. Yeah, Esther. Enough of all this, Dad. 
Come on, mom, with due respect. Allah has day. Allah has day. This is not making any sense. I said no. Look, there's enough room in this house. Let her stay in one of the rooms. Mom, why would you chase her out to the boys quarter? It is not fair. Listen, Chike. Chike, don't allow me change it for you. As a matter of fact, this house belongs to Joy. Chike! Yes? How can you say this house belongs to Joy? Does it belong to you? She's not even Auntie Vivian's daughter. So? And we are not blood relation. Tell him. So let her go. Um, Dad. Dad. Honestly, this is not fair. I don't buy the idea of Joy leaving this house to the boys quarter. I've just said my own and I just want you to understand that. Joy is not leaving this house. Chike. She stays. She stays more. Chike, I will cut your feathers. Esther. Chike, I will cut your feathers. Esther. Yes. I don't like what you just did. <clears throat> and who demanded for your opinion? Eh? Okay, ma. Who demanded for your opinion? What is going on? I mean, you stayed quite long, you know? I mean... Ah. Yes, uh, Doc. Uh, uh, yes, um, uh, you said I should. Doc? Doc? Why do you have this look on your face? I'm sorry. We lost the baby. What did you just say? Yes. What did you just say? We lost the baby. We tried to save the life of your baby, but no way. You have to take heart. Some days are like that. Excuse me. Hard times may have put you down, down. But they will not last forever. When all is said and done. You'll be wiser, strong, stronger I'm afraid, afraid Don't know where to go now I'm afraid, afraid Mom, why are we just here eating? All happy without even joy eating here with us is she not supposed to be here? Mm, maybe she's in her room or better still in the kitchen eating. Did I ask you? Why must it be you that will be the person to answer this question? But did you throw the question to any particular person? So anybody's entitled to answer the question. And that person has to be you, Abby? Chicken. What? Chicken! Please allow me to eat this my breakfast and peace. Don't let me lose my appetite. Chicken. Dad, chicken, eat your food, please. Eat your food. Joy is fine. I don't believe you. I don't believe any of you. Joy is not here. How do we believe she is fine? Since we moved into this house, mom has practically changed. She's no longer the mother that I know. Come on, dad. Even you, you have nothing to say about this thing. Come on, dad. And why don't you have anything to say about this? Is it because this house is not your house? Is that why you don't have anything to tell your wife? Come on, Dad. Come on. Act like a man. Okay? Act like a man that you are. This is not just right. Chike! Chike! Mm. Mm. I'm warning you, Chike. Honey, better warn him. Chike. It's enough. I said it's enough. Ah! Eat your food in peace. Um, Auntie. Auntie, I'm off to school. What? Going to where? To school. And who told you we'll be going to school in this house? Huh? Oh. Who will be taking care of your school expenses? Huh? Who? Do I look like your mother? Or does my husband look like your father? Or does any of my family member here look like any of your siblings? Huh? Listen, you better go inside and look for something good to do with your life. There's no going to school in this house. Auntie, I don't understand. Why are you saying this? Auntie, before Mommy Vivian died, she handed me over to you. 
and instructed that I must not lack anything, especially my school. Really? Really? Okay. Go to her grave. Wake her up. Let her come and instruct me on what to do. Listen to me, young woman. You are not going to school in my house. And you have to listen to my instructions. Else, I will kick you out of my house, to the streets where you belong. Nonsense. Get out! I said get out! Mom, why, why, why are you doing this to this girl? Nonsense. I take a look at this girl. When I tell you, was alive, this girl was even looking more better than this. But look at how rough and slim she is now. Is this fair? This is not right. This is absolutely not right. Get out! What is this? I don't like the way you are treating this girl. Really? Don't think because I've been keeping quiet doesn't mean I'm not a man. Really? It's just that this house belongs to your sister. Don't you ever hit me like that again. If you don't like what I am doing or what I am saying, you get out there. Get your own apartment. You can live in there with whosoever you want to live with. It's none of my business. Be it cockroaches or lizards. As far as this, my late sister's house is concerned, my word is love. I'm afraid, afraid, don't know where to go now. I'm afraid, afraid, I don't know where to go. Auntie Vivian, what are you doing here? Dochi, why have you refused to come and take your daughter? Even now that you are married? No. Auntie, I don't want that child. I, I, I want it to be a secret amongst my people. Especially my husband. I, I don't want him to know that I have already given birth before we got married. It will, it will destroy my marriage. How do you think you can keep it a secret? Me? Ha! Auntie, I can keep it all. It will be a secret forever. Nobody will know about it. Nobody. Tochi, come and take your daughter before it is too late. Come and take your child. Oh, no! I don't need the child. Come and take your no, child. No! Tochi. I don't want the child. I don't want her. 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 I don't want the child. 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 I, I don't want the child. I don't want the child. I, I don't want the child. I don't want the child. I don't want the child. I don't want her. I don't want her. I, I don't want her. Hey, I don't hey, 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 hey. What's going on? What? What? Now what's happening? What's going on? You don't want whose child? What are you talking about? You mean I've been talking with someone? Yes, you have been talking. I don't understand. Whose child? You don't want whose child? I don't know. I had, I had a dream. Someone was forcing me to take her child. Someone was forcing you to take her child? Yes. And who's this person? Honey, don't worry. It's just a dream. Let's go back to what sleep. What do you mean it's just a dream? I mean, who's this person? Honey, you worry too much. Let's sleep. Let's just sleep. It's just a dream, nothing. Let's just sleep. Sleep, sleep. There's something I want to discuss with you. 
Okay? I'm all ears. That day at the hospital, before your sister died, remember what she told you about Joy? That you should take care of her like your own child. And you should make sure that she doesn't lack anything, especially in her schooling. She also said that Joy knows her property and has a share in her property. And this same Joy is the reason why she's dying a happy woman. Now let me ask you, all those things she told you, are you doing them? The answer is no. How do you think she'll be feeling wherever she is? That the girl she took as her own daughter and handed over to you, that same girl is passing through hell in your hands. Think about it. Ask yourself this question. Okay, one. Well. You are not seeing what I am saying. How do you mean? Now, let me ask you. Have you forgotten that that Joy Kel is a law student? Mm -hmm. And if I allow her to finish her studies, she will graduate as a lawyer. Mm -hmm. That automatically gives her an edge over us. Now, you know that my sister adopted her from an unknown woman. That makes her automatically my sister's child. If she graduates as a lawyer, obviously, she will turn against us. She will sue us and throw us out of this house. Okay, woman. Let me ask you, do you have money to rent an apartment in this city? Do you? You have a point there. You have a point there. Um, but even at that, just take it easy with her. Please. Okay, woman. I know what I am doing. I know exactly what I am doing. I'm a maniac. My eyes are wide open, like that of the fish in a river. Where are you going to? Who have been at that? You want to go and sleep in the other room? No, you lie. You're not going anywhere. Why are you blocking my way? Is that your question? Why are you asking that kind of stupid question? You should be ashamed of yourself, Frank. Frank, for, for, for crying out loud, I am your wife. When last did you touch me? Almost three months now, you've not even touched me, your wife. And you claim to be a man. Man my foot. You should be ashamed of yourself. Frank, stay there, my friend. What is wrong with you, Frank? What is wrong with you? So you want me to continue to waste my energy on you? All the ones we've done since I married you. Tell me, where's the result? See, the remaining energy I have, I want to reserve it for my new wife. Eh? Period. Eh? Yes. New wife? Yes. In which house? This house? That's a big fat life, Frank. It's a wife in this house. Mm -hmm. Try it now. Okay. You know, on a second thought, eh? I don't even care. You can bring your wife home. You want to marry her? No problem. Go out there and get yourself a wife. Let me see the magic you will do to get her pregnant. Mm -hmm. You, because I know you're not a man. Let me see how you get her pregnant. Why Muabuasa? I will also go out there and find myself a real man to get pregnant for. Eh? Eh! Yes! You want to go out there to get yourself pregnant by another man? Is there anything wrong in that? Is there anything wrong in that? I could try it punje. Puanu ke ikan pon ke mu. Do your own. Let me do mine. I can't wait for tomorrow. Don't I will go it. and get myself pregnant. Don't try it. Oh. I should not do what? Don't try well, it. I can't call you. I can't call you father. I'm a chicken with you, Guy, I will get myself pregnant. When you hear me, go out there and marry your own wife. Go out there and get yourself married. Eh, who? Eh, who up here? Don't try it. Don't try it. Don't try it. Don't try it.
You're still exercising. Okay, uh, I'm about to go to the shop. Since you said you're not going out today, take care of yourself. Whenever you want to eat, tell Joy to prepare what you want. Okay? It's okay. Yeah. Just make sure you speak to her. Sure, I will. Uh, Joy! 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 Yes, Auntie. Please come. My husband is at home, okay? Make sure you prepare whatever he wants to eat for lunch, okay? Yes, Auntie. New boy, have you finished what I asked you to do? I have. You're sure? Yes, the auntie. cleaning and the washing? Yes, Auntie. You're sure? Mm -hmm. You can go. Honey, see you. Take care of yourself, okay? Let me be on my way, okay? Okay. Take care of yourself. Have a nice day. Same too. <sighs> This girl has grown into a fool man. Look at what she's carrying on her chest. And the one behind. Should I? Should I? Um, Joy! Joy! From Patas, you are. Please go and take a shower. Um, Uncle, I still have things I'm doing. I know you still have things to do. But suppose somebody walks into the compound and, 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 and finds you like this. Hey, it wouldn't be nice. Please go and take a shower. Okay, Uncle. I just wanted to check if you have taken your bath. Yes, I have. And I want to dress up. No, no, no. If you want me to go, I will go. But why do you want me to leave? Because you wanted to dress up. Does it mean if I'm your boyfriend, you cannot dress up in my presence? Uncle. Who was the meaning of that? Please just go. I want to dress up. I'm not comfortable with what you're saying. Besides, I don't have a boyfriend. I never had, and I don't plan on having any time soon. Oh, you don't have a boyfriend? You never had one? That means you are still a virgin. <laughs> Uncle, please just go. Just go. I want to dress up. No, don't do that. See, I understand how you feel. You have never done it before. So, uh, I know how you feel. Oh, no. You do know what? I want us to do it now. But I promise you, I will be gentle. I'll do be what? Gentle. Uncle, please leave here. Uh uh. Just go. Keep quiet. Let me tell you, there's nobody here. Huh? It's either you give it to me peacefully or I'll do it my own way. Hey. Lie down, let's do this. Uncle, please leave here. I said, lie down. Uncle, I'm going to scream. Just go. I... Uncle, just, just, just go. Lie down there. Uncle, leave here now. I said, lie down. Uncle, leave here. Uncle, don't... Why are you crying? Stop! 
crying. Hmm? Can't you see? It was so sweet. You were so sweet like banana ice cream. Don't worry. By the time we do it again and again, like ten times, you won't feel better. Oh, God. I hate you. I hate you. You raped me. You took advantage of me. You took my virginity. I curse you. You shall never see anything good in your life. You and your wicked family. Is that supposed to be a curse? And so shall it be. Joy, do you realize what you just said? Just get out. Get out of here. Wherever you are, whoever you are, they gave it to me and just abandoned me here to suffer. You shall never hear the cry of a baby. In your life, I curse you. <laughs> What is happening to my son? His body temperature is so is so high. What what is happening to him? Hey. Sorry, you're healed. You're healed. Get well soon. Sorry, nothing will happen to you, my boy. Nothing will happen to you. Hey, let me even call my husband. What kind of thing is this? His temperature is so high. Hey. Hello, honey. Yes, so oh, he's, he's junior. Ah, there is trouble, oh. He's junior. I, I, don't, I don't know what is wrong. His body, is so, his body temperature is so high. Yes, it, it started last night. We still have some drugs at home. Okay. Okay, so I'll, I'll, I'll just give it to him. But if he, he doesn't get well, I'll take him to the hospital. Okay, honey. Hey. Jenny, I'm sorry. Sorry. Get well soon, my son. You are healed. Nothing will happen to you. You are strong. You are a son of your worry. Everywhere, too much blessings. Oh my God, what a beautiful soul. I'll be more. Baby, captured your heart. Baby, captured your soul. Baby, captured your eyes. Hey, no. Please, I don't know what is happening to my son. Madam, what is wrong with I don't care. Where is doctor? Doctor, please. Oh, let's please, go. let's go. Junior, Junior, please. Where? Where? Hey, where is the doctor now? God, oh, what is happening to me? God, please, let nothing happen to my son. Hey. Hmm. A few months ago, I lost my newborn. If anything happens to Junior, I will not take it. I'll just die. God, please. Please, God. Listen to the cry of a mother. Please. God, please. Just hear my prayers. God, please. I don't know. Where is the doctor now? Doctor, do doctor, so how is my son? How, how is he doing? Hope he's okay now. Madam, eh? when did this sickness start and which drugs did they give to him? Just um, in the midnight. I, I gave him some drugs two hours ago. You gave him some drugs two hours ago? Yes, yes. Is there a problem? Do you have many drugs here? I think I, I think I... Yes, yes. 
Yes, yeah, see it, see it, see the drawer, see it. What is it? What is it? Madam, you have killed your son. What do you mean? I, I, I don't understand. Where did you buy these drugs from? I, these drugs, I, 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 I've had it since in the house now, like eight months ago. You know, I've, I've been giving it to him anytime he's sick. So what is the problem? You mean you had these drugs since eight months ago? Yes, that's what... You gave it to your son? Yes. Two hours ago, without Doctor. looking at the expiry date. In fact, these drugs have expired. Chiniki. Oh, Kwan is you go. Hey, Chiniki. Okay, doctor, yes, the mistake has been made. So what can what can we do now? Madam, there is nothing we can do. Your son is already dead. How? How do you mean my son is dead? Madam, calm down, calm down, calm down, calm down, please just calm down. <laughs> Doctor. Get this fight to Los Elizabeth. Okay, yes, doctor. Doctor, doctor. Yes, um, um, uh, uh, my wife called me a few hours ago uh, and she said that there was some sort of emergency uh, uh, and they've been rushed here. They were, you know, they would be rushed here. So, so what's going on, please? Mr. Steve, please yes. calm down. Take it easy. No, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm calm, but, but please, what is really going on? What's, what's going on with my family? What's going on with my well, wife and my son? There's nothing to hide from you. You're a man. What are you talking about? There's nothing to hide from me. I'm a man. What is really going on? Please. Um, your wife mistakenly gave your son an expired drug. Without knowing the drug has expired. Um, and on hearing the news, your wife collapsed. She, co she collapsed? Please, is she okay? Is my wife okay? Yes, she's okay. Is my wife okay? Yes, she's okay. Right? Uh, uh, what, what was the news? What, what, what was the news? Huh? Um, your son is dead. What did you just say? What did you just say? What did you just say now? What, what did you talk to me? What did you say? My son is what? My son is what? My son is what? My son is what? What's going on? My son is what? My son is what? Huh? Talk to me. My son is what? What did you just say? My son is dead. Calm down, okay? Madam, yes. Madam, <laughs> why did you pour me water? So you don't know what the time is. It's five o'clock a.m. You're still lying down sleeping. Don't you know that you're supposed to go to the kitchen, prepare breakfast before my husband and my children wakes up from sleep? Eh? See, I'm sure it's just like five a.m. It's too early to prepare breakfast. Even if I do now, it will get cold before they wake up. You're still sitting down here running your mouth. 
If I close my eyes and open it, and I still find you here, in fact, this time around, it's hot water I'll pour on you. Come on, move to the kitchen and go and prepare something for me. Sorry. Stupid girl, idiot, madam. Nonsense. No one to run to. No one to console me in this life. And I'm a retrogomania, or to Romania, or to Tanabana. Madam, leave that thing you're doing. Go inside my room, clean up my room, and arrange my bed. Are you not the one I'm talking to, or are you deaf? Look, are you blind? Just tell me, are you blind? Can't you see that I'm washing? You even added more clothes. And then you are telling me to go into your room, clean it up, and dress your bed. Can't you do it yourself? Wait, wait, wait. Am I the person you're talking to like that? I'm so... No, answer me. <laughs> what will you do? Hey, or am I lying? Hey. Are you not a girl like me? Why can't you do it yourself? So you then ask me what I am going to do. I want to show you what I can do. I have done something. Now do your worst. <laughs> so this is all you can do? This is all? I think you're just looking for someone to kill you. And that person is not me. So I will just let you be. Just go. What if I refuse to go? What will you do? Then stay here and waste your useless time. What? Wait, 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 wait. You dare call me useless? No, I want to understand. You dare call me useless? Don't you dare. Look, don't you dare try to hit me again. Stupid girl. <laughs> you hit me? You hit me now and you will see. Just look at her. It's only you that have a mother. Nonsense. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, sorry, man. Sorry. I know that I know that wicked girl is trying to suffer you. But don't don't listen to her. Just calm down. I believe one day, one day God will free from all this bondage. We are watching. I don't even know why she's like that. Why is she doing this to me? She's like her mother. They are evil people, wicked people. Don't, don't mind them. Just believe one day. I wish Auntie Vivian is still alive. We will not be suffering all this to yourself. But don't worry. Someone is coming. Just don't fight. You're a good person. Don't fight, yeah? Hey. I thought I heard you raising your voice talking to someone. Just get out of this place, you rapist. You call me a rapist? Look, if you don't leave this place, I will tell everyone how you raped me. Rapist. Fool. That's what you are. Just look at him. Stupid man. One day, all of you in this house will reap what you sow. Except for Chike. You are in heaven Seeing what I'm going through No one to run to Mom, Dad, so both of you are here watching television and relaxing with your phones while Joel is inside there dying? Come on, why do you people hate this innocent girl so much? What has she ever done to you people that you cannot forgive her and take care of her? See, Mom, tell me, if this girl was to be your daughter, 
Will you sit down here, relaxing with your phone, while she's going through pains in there? Are you mad? I don't know, in Apuala, are you mad? Why will you talk to your father and I in that manner? Mom, that don't you have respect for your parents anymore? Mom, that is not what even I'm talking about. That is exactly not the point. The point is this girl is in there suffering. See, there's something I want to say to you people. If anything happens to that girl, Dad, if anything happens to that girl, I will report this matter to the police. And you know what that means. Hmm? Chica, sh shut up. I said keep quiet. Um, honey, it's okay. Can you imagine? So, Chike, what is wrong with her? How would I even know? How would I even know? I am not a medical doctor. It is simple. Let us take this girl to a hospital so she can run a lab test. From there on, we know what to do. From what I know, this girl has been in there since morning, shivering and shaking. Come on, Dad. Go to my room. Get to my bedroom. On top of the table, you see some money there. Take some money, go to the chemist and mix some drugs for her. She'll be fine. Um, honey, what? Uh, Mom. What do I even tell the chemist, man? How would I even know what is wrong with her? What kind of drug would he give me? Come on, Mom. What are we seeing? I can't do that, please. I honestly can't do that. Chike, you? Um, honey, um, it's, it's okay. Um, I, I think Chike is right. What's this? She, she, she did to undergo some tests to know what is exactly wrong with her. You know, remember what your late sister Vivian said. Something must not happen to Joy. Okay. In that case, go to my room. There's a lot of money there. Take some money, take her to the lab and have some tests. Don't worry, I will do that. I will do that. You know, she's... Don't worry, I think There's I... no time. I think I should do that. I, I should do that. Um, you know, she's very sick, as she can say, so... Let me just take her to the hospital. Oh, no, if you say so. <clears throat> Suit yourself. No. I'm afraid. Don't know where to go now. Hard times may have put you down. What do you want to do? Let's go to the hospital. There's no time. I thought you said you're not a doctor. So what are you going to do there? My friend, will you get inside? Tell the man to open the gate for me. Okoro, close my door. Yes? Open the gate. Just thank your God that you're not pregnant. That's why I decided to, to take you to the lab by myself. Otherwise, I would have killed you here and nobody will ask after you. Nobody will ask after me. My God and Mommy Vivian will ask after me. Why are you people so heartless? Why are you wicked? You raped me and you still have the guts to talk to me in that manner. Don't worry. God will judge you. If you dare insult me, then I will push you out. And I will go without even giving you transport. Let me see how you walk home with your chicken legs. Okay. Push me out. Push me out now. And you will see how I will get home and tell your wife and children how you raped me. My friend, Rapist. keep quiet. My friend, keep quiet. Let's go. I'm afraid. Don't know where to go now. I have asked you to tidy up my room since morning and you're here just watching this program. Why are you wicked? Am I not your elder brother? Can I tell you something to do for me? I don't understand you. Sweep your room as in what? I don't understand you. Wait, Mama, wait. beg, beg, beg. Don't disturb me. This program I'm watching is quite interesting. Why are you being so disrespectful? Do you want me to slap you? Mm -hmm. You see the way you're talking to me? Am I your mate? Am I your mate? Have you lost, lost it? What's your problem? Mm. You said it's your exercise in this house, eh? I what will cut that. What is it this morning? What is happening? What is it this early morning? Mom, huh? since I wake up this morning, I asked Isabel to help me tidy up my room. She herself said that Joy is at the back, sweeping and washing uh, uh, the, the, the filthy clothes. 
and now she's here doing nothing. Hey, don't worry, Joy will do it. But, but, she said Joy is washing at the backyard. That's exactly what she said. Mommy, tell him. Oh. Ah. Um, I see, um, um, I don't want to you people to have issues this morning. You see the way she talks? You see the way she talks to uh, me? Please, guys, calm down, please. Eh? I'm, I'm going to my shop. Okay? Um, please, 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 please. I'm off to the shop. You guys should take care of the house. Um, you said Joy is still washing? She's still there washing. Okay. Tell her to prepare lunch when she's done with that. And she should make sure dinner is ready before I come back. Yes, ma'am. Right. You know I don't like eating late. Uh-huh. But, but, but mom, what is Isabel doing here? You said you, Joy is washing at the back. Now she should prepare lunch and still make dinner at the same time. But Isabel is here doing nothing. What is her work in this house? Mommy, I don't understand. What is her work in this house? Why is she living here? Allow Isabel to be. Mommy, I don't understand this kind of preferential treatment that Brochike is giving to this Joy in this household. It's becoming too much. Eh? Mommy, caution this girl. See? Caution her so much. Just caution her. I want to sell in my shop. Please. I don't want this trouble this morning. Mommy, bye. Uh -oh. See you. Bye. Please, Oga, you are obstructing my view. Go, Joy. I'm afraid. Don't know where to go now. Hard times may have put you down. Joy, Joy, what do you want to do? What are you doing here? I thought you've gone to your shop. Or have you come to rape me again? You fool. Rapist. You can call me whatever pleases you. That's none of my business. As long as you give it to me, go, go. Do you even have sense? No, just tell me. Why are you wicked and heartless? Why? If someone was doing this to your daughter, what will you do? My daughter? Ah, no, don't go there. <laughs> I will kill that man. I will kill that useless man. Thank you. Thank you for accepting how useless and wicked you are. Now get out of my room. Leave this place. Enough of this nonsense. You are very wicked. Get out of my room. I, I know this is how you behave each time I want it. You either give it to me peacefully or I'll have it my own way. Or never leave my room. I said go now. I said leave my room. Ay. Why, 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 why now? I'm having a runny stomach. going on honestly I am confused like I don't even know what to do again ever since we lost our kids my husband has been behaving very strange hey God I just hope nothing has happened to him Again. What, what is really going on? What? Do you want to kill me? Why are you doing this? Why? Just, just look at the time. Just look at when you're coming home to your wife. Honey, what have I done that you cannot forgive me? What? 
very sick. I've been sitting down here. I'm, I'm waiting for you. Shut up. Okay? Just shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Honey, what? Just shut up. Shut up. When I'm done talking, you talk. Shut up. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Since when did you, you start caring about me? Oh, 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 honey, you know I Just care. Shut up! Shut, shut up! When I'm done talking, you talk. Shut up. Close it. Zip it. Lock it. Keep it glued. Honey. Uh, shut up! You care about me. Since when? Oh, oh, oh I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I, I remember, right? The two people... <laughs> You cared about a dead and you killed them. Now shut up! <laughs> and now you care about me, you want to kill me. <laughs> What? Before you kill me, I'll kill you first. Eh? Huh? I will kill you first. <laughs> so don't care about me, okay? <laughs> because if you Try to kill me. I'll kill you first. You feel me? Don't care about me. Joe, you don't have to bother yourself. I mean, you should stop crying, okay? I understand everything that is happening, okay? Oh, brother Chike. I don't want you to go. Please just stay. If you go now, who will I talk with? Who will be here to care for me and, and fight for me? If you leave, I will just be all alone. You know you're the only one that likes me in this house. Please, Brother Chike, I don't want to be alone. I understand. Okay, if you ask me, I will tell you I want you to come with me. Honestly, I'm also scared. You know, I'm scared that my parents are just going to do something bad to you. I don't know why they hate you this much. See, I promise you, okay? I promise you, I'm gonna make sure I find a way to make you get free. At least get a place for you to stay and find something doing. Yes, especially now that my mother has taken everything Auntie Vivian kept for you. They are not your God. They will never be your God, okay? I promise you, I will also find a way to see if I can get you connected back to school. I have friends, yes. Really? That Chike, if you do this for me, I will forever be grateful. Don't worry, I'll try my best and I'll make sure it happens. Please stop crying, you hear? Thank stop you. crying. I just want you to be happy. I have to go to the kitchen. Understand, bro, Chica and Joy. Most times you see both of them chatting and laughing as if they are in love. But are you sure they are not in love? My dear, don't <laughs> mind what you say. Hmm? Your brother Chica just like Joy. Real. Okay. But both of them being in love, no, 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 no. That is not possible. It's not when I'm still alive. It's not going to happen. Eh? Besides, don't worry. Your brother will soon go back to school. And all these things, we stop. All this nonsense, sure? we stop. Sure. sure. 
Isabella. Are you mad? Is there anything wrong with you? Is that why you dragged me out? Excuse me. Brachike. 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 What is it? I don't understand you and that thing, no. Huh? Why are you both always sitting together as if you are in love? Are you mad? Did you hear what you just said? What's your problem? Just look at you insulting her. See, next time I hear you say anything like this again, I'm going to slap you. Come on, get out from my side. Just look at you. Look at what you're saying. She, you are going back to school tomorrow. So? Eh? When you get back to school, let me see who she'll be playing that nonsense love with. Nonsense. See, 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 see who is insulting somebody. Mom! Mama! Mama! Isabel, come here! So much. You see, ever since we did it the other time, and you were so sweet like banana ice cream. You see, I've been, I've been having this strong feeling to, 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 to get one from you. I'm so addicted. You are sick. Okay, Wa, you are sick. You are a beast, and I hate you. Look here. See, my, my wife and my daughter have gone to the village, and my son has gone back to school. Look at the whole house. There's nobody here to help or save you like my son did the other time. So you said that you give it to me peacefully, or I have it my own way. You are lying. Okay. I'm you lying. will not succeed. You will not succeed this time. The last time you succeeded because I did not know you. But now you will not succeed. Ah! You! Go ahead. Ask give it to me today. and get drugs for God, but he's calling you. What happened? Just give me the key. Hey. Use this one. Which one? This one. Okay, go to Oga, go to Oga. Okay. He's calling you, go! Oga. I 
said and done, you'll be wise and strong. Please, please help me, please. Please help me. I don't have anywhere to go. Let me meet my Madonna. Let me meet my Madonna. You know, just, I'm really going to with that big bag. Ma, I don't know. I don't okay, know no, anywhere. This place is not safe for you, okay? Just come inside the car. We'll talk that. Come, come. Thank Let's you, go. Ma. God bless you, Ma. I'm afraid. Don't know where to go now. Hard times may have put you down. Honestly, people can be wicked. How can that man, his wife and his daughter, treat you in that manner? To the extent of he raping you and also wanting to rape you again. That is uh, wickedness. That's the height of wickedness. But you know what? I love what you did to him. He deserves it. And in the next world, if he will survive it, he will never rape any woman again. And that's a woman that called herself your biological mother, that gave birth to you and dashed you out just like that. She must be so heartless. I, I don't think she deserves to be called a mother. She is so heartless. I pray you see her one day. Just calm down, okay? Be rest assured that you are safe here. Hmm? Thank you, Auntie. You're welcome. Auntie, can I ask you a question? Yes, go ahead. Do you live here all alone? Yes, why do you ask? I'm just wondering, oh, I'm just wondering where your children are. If you live with your children. My children are fine. They are with their father in Ghana. But they do visit once in a while. Okay. Your house is very fine. Thank you so much, Auntie. Thank you for accepting a total stranger. Thank you very much. God will bless you for helping me. And see, the day you even picked me up on the road, you didn't know me. You just picked me up and, you know, you brought me here. And see, thank you very much. You talk God. too much. Calm down. That's fine. Take good care of yourself, okay? Just like I told you, be rest assured that you are safe. Hmm? Thank you. Let me get to the kitchen. When all is said and done, you'll be wise and strong. I am pained. I no longer sleep at night ever since we lost our newborn baby and my son. Because my husband keeps blaming me. He said I'm, I'm the cause of everything. Now, he even said I want to kill him the way I, I killed our children. I'm on this year, no, no, no. Hmm. But I don't know what else to do. Why is he doing all this, eh? Doesn't he know that you were hurting more than he is? Because you were the one that carried these children in your womb for nine months. You also suffered at the labor room giving birth to them. Eh? Why would you want to kill them? Mama, Lizzie, I mean, thank God you understand these things. But my husband will not. He has failed to understand. But my daughter, 
Why have you not been able to conceive ever since that incident? Is it that he has not been touching you? Mama, that is the problem. He has been touching me. He has been touching me, Mama. There is no style we have not tried. He will tell me, open your legs like this, Mama. Hey, it's wide. Like, there is nothing I haven't done. Hey. Put your leg on the table, Mama. The other time he came and said, just some so that your, your something will be hey, up. my daughter. I'm a wife in name, Hey. That is why I am confused. I don't know what else to do. It's okay. Hmm? It's okay. I know what to do. I will take you somewhere to check something. Mm -hmm. Don't worry. Everything will be fine. Don't worry. Mm. Mm. Don't worry. Okay? Everything will be fine. Eh? You mean you told Joy to prepare yam and sauce for you for dinner? And she told you it was too late for her to do it. And when you wanted to flog her, she did this to you? Yes. Ah. That witch. She nearly killed me. And when she did this to me, and I fell, she now used her, her, her leg to hit my manhood. Eh? She has destroyed my manhood. I don't know if I can perform again. Oh, oh, oh. That girl wants to destroy my property. <laughs> God forbid. She will not succeed. Mommy, mommy, I told you. I told you that girl is a witch. She wants to kill my daddy for me. I'll be sorry, yeah? Nothing will happen to you, oh. Thank you. Mm, I swear. Anywhere I see that girl, she must surely pay for this. She must surely pay for this. Honey. Sorry. Hey. I told yeah. you that girl is a witch. She can't show it. Hey. Eh? Hey. Honey. Is it? Is it? Ha! This thing hurts. Hey. Is it? Is it? Honey. Let's go inside. Eh? Let's go inside. Let me go and check if it's still working. Oh? Hey. Easy. Ah, eh? Sorry, sorry. Ah. He. Ah. Let me just go and be sure. Mama, I am finished. What, what do I do now? Hmm. Could this lady be that lady curse on me? Hmm. <gasps> My daughter, these your questions will not solve this problem. I will suggest that you go home and think very well. Maybe you will remember something or someone that you must have offended in the past. You know me now. You know me. You, you gave birth to me. You know I am not a troublemaker. So there is no way I would have offended someone up to the point that the person is so upset and laid a curse on me. Let me ask you something, my daughter. Mm. This your husband, Steve. Mm. Did you drag or snatch him from anyone? Because that is the only thing I am thinking that can cause this kind of problem. Mama? Mama, or give me a quick fact. It's going to Are you the one saying this? Eh? 
already forgotten you were even the one begging me to marry Steve. Among all the suitors that came, you, you told me you loved Steve, I should marry him. So, so there, is no, there was no thing about dragging. It's okay, my daughter. One thing I know is that there must be a solution to this problem. Hmm? There must be a solution. There has to be, Mama. Because at this point, I, I don't even know what to do. I've thought about it. I don't even know who this woman is. Why would she even lay a person? I can't, I can't remember anybody. I can't remember. Huh. Yes, ma'am. Oh, I'm so tired. Did you want me to get you anything? No, no, no. Just so tired. Sorry, ma'am. Thank you. I go to something. Just take that bag, whatever you see there. They're all yours. Hey! Auntie, are you serious? Hey! Thank you very much, Auntie. You're welcome. Thank you. Auntie, God will bless you. Thank you. You're welcome. Now, listen. You know, since you came in here, you've been indoor. And that's no good for you. And I don't mind is it a food workshop. Mm -hmm. Like they say. So I would like you to join me to shop tomorrow. And at the end, I'll try to give you 15000 every month. Auntie, mm -hmm. Auntie, you don't need to. Oh. I can do anything for you, Auntie. Know, you don't no, need but to. But you still need it for your upkeep. Hey, thank you very much, Auntie. Auntie, God will bless you. you God will bless you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. What is happening to my daughter? What do I do? Does it mean that because my husband is no longer here, I will not be able to solve my family problem? No. I have to do something. Then why am I her mother? Tochuku is my daughter. I should be able to do something. Yes, I must find the solution to this matter. I have to. Nkechi! Nkechi! Yes, auntie, I'm here. Auntie? I'm going out to somewhere. Hmm? Okay. Please, take care of the house. Alright. Uh -huh. uh, you said your mother called while I was away. Yes, auntie. I hope there's no problem. No, not at all. She actually called because it's been a while she saw me, so she wants to see me, that's why. Mm, this is your mother. Does it mean she cannot spend one month without seeing you? And mm. she's your sister now, you should mm. call her and ask her. But I think she's missing me, that's why she wants me to come around. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Because you're her last born. Yes. That is why we will not hear what in this house to you. <laughs> it's okay, no problem, eh? It's okay. You can go and see her during the weekend. Okay, thank you. Right. So, but for now, I'm going out. When I come back. Okay. <sighs> Madam, can I talk to you? Please, please, I'm not in the mood. Please, maybe next time. Please, give me your time, madam. Your daughter is passing through hell in her husband's house. What did you say? Your daughter is passing through hell in her husband's house. Sir, please, who are you? I am Pastor Chike. Hey. Yes, it's true. It's true, Pastor. I don't know what else to do. Eh? My daughter is no longer in good terms with her husband. Her marriage is in shambles. In fact, this is affecting her terribly. I don't know what to do, Pastor. 
please help me. Where is that your daughter now? She's in her husband's house in the city. Her husband's house? Yes. Can we pray? Yes, we can. Lord Jesus, Save the Holy Spirit. Send it. Oh, Shabos. Karadasha does. Ah, ah, Madam. Yes, Pastor. Can I ask you a question? Please go ahead. Has your daughter given birth before? Yes. She she had a boy, but the boy died. And she got pregnant again and gave birth to a baby girl. But the baby girl died immediately she gave birth to her. In fact, that is why she has been having problems in her marriage. Her, her hold, hold on. That is not what I mean. Has she given birth before she got married? No. No. My daughter was a virgin before she got married. In fact, she never had any male friend. Before she accepted to marry this man, I know what I went through to convince her. So no, 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 please, no. From what the Holy Spirit is showing me now, your daughter has a baby girl somewhere and she laid a curse on her. That she please, 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 Pastor, please. What is this one now? Come, I thought you are a, you, you are a true man of God, though. And you came up with this, your false prophecy. Eh? How can you tell me that my daughter, my daughter who grew up with me, who I raised before she got married, that she has a baby somewhere? Please, or if it's a joke, just stop it. Hold on, madam. I've told you what the Holy Spirit ministered to me. Tell your daughter to go and look for that girl. That is when her problems oh, will be solved. Oh, please. Hmm. Please. While I give you prayers for her. Hey, I don't understand what is going on in this world anymore. Eh? Does it mean that there is no single good man of God anymore? I mean, how can that foolish, deceitful man who calls himself a man of God tell me that my own daughter, my Tochuku, who I raised, that grew up with me, that she had a baby before getting married? Hey! Fear God, oh! Eh? Fear God! If not that I know my daughter very well, that she lived with me in the same house before getting married, this is how I would have started suspecting her. Eh? How? Where and when? How did it happen? Was it in the dream? Hmm. These people will not get me. The people that I pity are these young people who just believe anything that any man says in the name of man of God. As for me, they will never get me. Hi. 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 What is happening? I went to a man of God to seek solution for my problems and he said the same thing. But who could that girl be? Because I can't even remember having any problem with anybody. Talk more of laying a curse on me. Should I go to Auntie Vivian for my daughter? But I can't even recognize her if I see her. That is if she's still alive. Because I left her at a very tender age. Hey. But if she's still alive, will Auntie Vivian agree to let me have her after so many years? Or will, will my daughter even believe I am her mother? God, what, what will I do? What will I tell my husband and my mother? I don't even know her name. I must make a step. There is no harm in trial. I have to do something. 
Let heaven fall if it has to. Two native doctors I went to see said that a certain girl laid a cross on my daughter. Who could she be? And what did my daughter do to her to deserve such? Hey, what do I do? Eh? Oh, at this point, I miss my husband. He would have been able to solve this problem. <sighs> but whatever it is, I have to do something. <laughs> Auntie, you're back. Yes, my dear. You don't look happy. What is the problem? Are you done with what you're doing inside? Yes, I'm almost true. Okay. Please go and finish up, okay? But Auntie, oh, you don't look... Please. I said you should go and finish up. And get ready to prepare lunch, okay? Okay, if you say so. I went to Joy's room and I can't find any, any of her things. Hmm. Her clothes and everything. Where is she? Joy has run away. In fact, it's God that saved her. I would have killed her. Wait, wait, Mom, I don't understand. Run away. How? What happened? Joy almost killed your father for us. Killed my father? Yes! How? Can you imagine? I traveled to the village with Isabella to go and see my father. Leaving Joy and your father in the house. Simply because your father asked Joy to prepare yam and sauce for him to eat for dinner. Joy said it was too late for her to prepare it for him. And when he tried to correct Joy by flogging Joy, Joy broke your father's head. Uh, uh, Mom, I'm, I'm sorry to say this. Who cooked up the story you just told me now? Sorry. What do you mean, who cooked up the story? Your father is here now. Ask him. Chike. Dad. Go inside. You are just coming. I should go inside. Dad, I want to stay here and talk. Okay? You see, you can lie to Isabel here. You can also fool more. But certainly not me. Chike, wait. Let me understand you. What do you mean daddy is lying? I said shut up. What do you even know? Mom, let me shock you. Okay? Ask your husband here what he was doing on top of Joy the day I caught him trying to rape that innocent girl. What? And I believe that is the same thing he was trying to do to her that made her did this to him by trying to defend herself. But what is all the point? What's all the point? You all have succeeded in driving Joy away from this house. But I promise you all one thing, and I always say this, if anything happens to that innocent girl, you all will not like me in this house. Nobody here will like me, Mom. Chike, Mom. you mean what you just said now or you're just joking? Why would I be joking? Your husband is here, of course. You can ask him. You can ask him yourself. Wait, I don't even understand what you are saying. Uh -huh. Even if Daddy slept with Joy, is it a new, a new thing? After all, other men out there do it every day. You are very stupid. Yes, see! Get out of my Come, Isabel. Have you started sleeping with men? 
Mommy, that's not the issue here. Oh. After all, I'm a big girl. And it's not even a big deal. Can you see the way she talks? It's not a big deal. Mm -hmm. Just look at her. Isabel! Mm -hmm. Mama? Yeah. Okay, Mama. Is this true? Okay, Mama. So this is what you have been doing behind me? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, Mama. Have I ever treated you bad before? And this is how you you pay me. And this is how you're paying me, okay? Mama? No problem. I swear. I swear, okay, Mama, for doing this. You will never, ever see my pants again. Unless I climb the mango tree. Nonsense. Hit you again. Okay. What? What? Go. Oh, what is it? Will you leave here? What's your problem? Are you contesting me? Bring what I told you to bring. Um, Joy. Calculate 28 times 6 for me. What Who is that man? Which one? That man sitting over there. The fair one. Oh, you mean Steve? Um, he's my customer. It's not quite long he's still coming to this place. I don't know him that much. Hmm. So why do you ask? I think that man has a problem. He's always coming here and getting himself drunk. Like he's always drinking and drinking and drinking since I've been seeing him here. So you are not a prophet that can see vision? He knows who drinks and who doesn't drink. Huh? Let's see. It's not like that. Listen, I don't care if he let if he likes, let him drink himself to stupor. What I'm only concerned is about my money. I'm here to make my business. And please. Calculate for me. Then check it eighteen thousand times five. Plus it with the other food. Honey, please, let's talk. Talk, please. Talk about what, baby? 
As you can see, I'm already prepared. I'm going to my shop, so I don't think I have time for all this. Please. I want us to go to the hospital and run a test and see if God will bless us with a child. <coughs> You're joking, right? No. I mean every word that I said. Huh? Really? Yes. Then what are you waiting for? Let's go. In that case, let me just go and change so that we can go. Okay. Okay. Hospital. Am I dreaming? This is hospital. My husband going with me to the hospital. Ha! I wonder who must have talked to him. Hey, God. God, I thank you. I thank you. Hey? Ha! Honey, how are you, Paul? Hey. This is serious. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Honey, let's go. Um, baby, please. I just want to ask you just this question. Are you really sure of this? Let's go, honey. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. 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 Let's go.
so that you become a better person in life. What did you come back with? Unwanted pregnancy. The worst part of it is that you don't even know who is responsible for a pregnancy. How do I reconcile that? Huh? Why, what, what, is, what is it? Where have I gone wrong? Have I not been a good mother to you? Why, why, did, you, why did you do this to me? Why? Mom, 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 mom. Enough of all this noise. Enough of all this noise. You caused everything that has been happening to this family. Yes, if you have perfected your role as a mother, this girl wouldn't have been in the position she is now. Brother, you put all your energy in frustrating and fighting Joy, the innocent girl. Mom, look at this. She doesn't even know who the father of the baby is. At this age? Dad, I lost the respect I have for you as a father. Right from the very first day, I caught you on top of that girl trying to rape her. Dad, it was because of you that this girl left this house in the middle of the night. As we speak, nobody knows where that girl is. We don't even know if she's dead or alive. Good day, sir. Good day, ma. Yeah. Uh, there's a lady at the gates. She said her name is Tochi. That she wants to see Auntie Vivian. I told her, power has changed hand. That there's nobody like Auntie Vivian here again. We only have Madame Esther and her good family. Do you know you're very foolish? Ma? You're very foolish. Why did you not tell me? She just came now. Okay, just go and fetch the lady, please. Please. Okay. You see exactly what I'm saying? You see the way mom addressed this simple issue? This is not fair. Good afternoon. Good day, ma. Good day, everybody. I'm so sorry to barge into your space. I'm, I'm here to see Auntie Vivian, but the security guy told me that she no longer lives here. So I requested to see you. Maybe you could um, have any information about her whereabouts. Well, I don't want to waste your time. Vivian was my sister. She's dead now. Auntie Vivian dead? Hey. Dead. Oh, okay, so... What about her, but sorry, what about the little girl that was staying with her? Well, if it's Joy you're talking about, she no longer stays here. Honestly, I, I don't even know her name. I left her when she was just a few months old. Okay, but so please, where, where can I find her? Because she's my daughter. Huh? What? Wait, mom, what did she say? You said Joy is your biological daughter? Yes, I, I had joy when I was just 18 and due to the fact that Auntie Vivian did not have a child so I had to leave her with Auntie Vivian and I told her that I'll come back for her. That is why I'm here. So please just, just help me out. There's no way. Let me uh, just know. You know, since after Auntie Vivian died, um, Joy ran away from this house. Wait, wait, wait. How, how do you mean run away? Run away to where? You won't understand. Too, too many things happened of late. Yes, too many things happened. Uh, um, but I will help you. Okay, I can help you look for Joy. We can, we can search for her together. Yes. Um, are you okay? Mom. Mom. Do, do something. Let, let's... Why don't you ask your father? He's in a better position to know where she is. It's getting late. Steve has not even called me and he's not yet back. I 
hope all is well with him, though. But why those Steve keep doing this to me? Why? Ha. Huh. Maybe see more woman more. Could it be that he's seeing other women? No. Steve cannot do this to me. He cannot do this to me. God, please. Let it not be what I'm thinking. Please, God. Let him not cheat on me. Please, God. Please let it not just be what I'm thinking. Please. Let it not be what I'm thinking. What, what could be keeping him outside this late? <sighs> ah, Joy, what is it? Do you want to wound me? Amaka, sorry. Why do you bring him out here? Do you want to wound me? Sorry, sorry. Amaka, what do we do? What do we do about what? About that customer. Can't you see that he's drunk? And we're about to close, so how will he go? What is your business with him? And what do you mean how he will go? Don't you know the way he drove into this place? Uh-uh. I'm a car. Do you expect him to drive home? He will just die on the road. If I even knew his house, I would have taken him. But I don't know. I just pity you. Just thank your God that Priska is not here. You would have explained to her your business with that man. Uh, thank God that Priska is not here. That's why I have to do something. Do you know any hotel close by? Mm. What do you need the hotel for? Amaka, just tell me. Ah, do you know any hotel? Um, I think there is one at the junction by the right after the flyover. You see one there. Thank you. What's this girl? What is wrong with this girl? Ah. Tell the KK driver that brought us that he should wait so he will take me home. Okay. Hmm? Oh. I wish you would just respect yourself and stop drinking. Eh? Hey? Just look at you. Now what next? me oh my oh my god what am i doing here who's that who are you Check if you were awake. What, what are you doing here as well? You were so drunk last night, so I couldn't let you drive in case something might have happened. So that's why I brought you here. You mean you? Augustine, like I said, I just came to check if you are awake. I have. I have your. 
Although I took some to pay for this room. I'll be leaving now. Okay, Steve. I think you should change this your attitude of of drinking. It's too much. Like when you drink, you forget yourself and you know, something might happen. I'm just saying that it's too much. And please don't forget to get your car. I'll go. Where are you coming from? Steve, why are you doing this to me? Why? Okay, just tell me. Have you started seeing another woman outside? Come on. You left this house since yesterday and you're just strolling in this morning. Why? What have I done to you, Steve? What have I done that you cannot forgive me? What have I done to deserve this kind of treatment? You make me feel like an outcast in my own house. Why? Okay. Now tell me. Who is this woman that is better than me, Toji, your wife? My wife. <clears throat> My wife. Now listen. Whatever it is going on now, you authored it. You signed on to it. You've dictated the pace. So enjoy it. Now, can I go upstairs? Thank you. Just take things easy, okay? I promise you that this problem must be solved. Eh? Just calm down. Okay, bye bye. Hi. So it has gotten to the extent that my son in law now runs after other women. And he has also stopped talking to my daughter. Hey, Mbam. My daughter does not deserve this. I will not let this one happen. Something has to be done. I have to do something. I have to do something about this. I have to. Um, hey, um, 
get me more drinks, okay? Bring another bottle. Excuse me. Sorry, sir, but I cannot bring another drink for you. You've had enough. Are you all right? No, I, like I said, excuse me. Do you realize that it's part of the money I pay here, what I spend here, they use to take care of your salary? Sir, I know it's not my money, but. But what? But what? But what? What effrontery? What temerity? What? Wait, hold on, hold on. Simply because you helped me go somewhere, kept me somewhere, yes? I'm not gonna say where here. But but that doesn't give you the right to talk. Wait, does that give you the right to talk at me? Like insult me? Who are you? Sir, I know I'm a nobody, but I'm just concerned about you. This is not right. Like, a man of your type shouldn't be here just drinking. You know, and then you get yourself drunk, you forget yourself. I know how I suffered to take you to the hotel in the midnight. Ha! Sai, it's too much, Joe. Please, just stop. Even if you, you, even if there is something you're going through, but drinking is not the solution. Hmm? Do you realize you've insulted me? Do you understand this is an insult to my person? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to insult you. I'm just... Hey, you know what, you know what, just, just shush there. You know what? You know what, you know what, that's it. Don't think this is the only existing bar here, you understand? Rubbish, because I came here, you now... Nonsense, I was supposed to even give you a tip. I'm not doing anything like that anymore. Sir. Rubbish! Sir, Out sir. of here! Sir. At least! Insulting you. Joe, what have you just done? What did I do? He just chased away a big customer. I was just telling him the truth. And what was that truth were you telling him? Eh? And what, what's even your business with that guy? See, if this guy stopped coming here, the priest will just kill you. Hey. What is this now? Okay, I was, she said I was drunk and then she took me to some hotel. That was it. But if you talk about it, that I actually knew where I was at the time. I, I, I told her that I was drunk. I mean, according to her, she says, okay, that she didn't want me to have an accident. No, so what? And the truth of the matter is this. I believe I was in my right senses. Yes, I was in my right senses. I knew what I was doing. But regardless, okay, fine. She took me there. All right? Does that give her the right to tell me how to spend my money? What to do with my life? Who is she? What has she in life? What? Well, uh, you say that the day the girl took you to the hotel that uh, you were drunk and you were okay. So uh, why are you saying that uh, you are uh, you are asking yourself why you got to the hotel? I don't understand because that's what you, according to what you told me that very day. Okay, even at that, even at that what? Oh, uh, shut up. Let me tell you the truth. Accept the fact that the girl saved your life. Look, uh, okay, and, and so um, and, and and if if better, so, be better, better. Let me tell you, there is something about this girl you are not seeing that I'm seeing. Now, what is that thing you're seeing? Maybe you try and figure out yourself. There is something about this girl you're not seeing. Look, as far as I'm concerned, you heard you're talking braggadocious because I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know, but she doesn't have any reason to what you're talking about. No, seriously, because she has no right whatsoever to talk. That girl is a very good.
You are home already. Honey. Baby. You are home already. When did you come? There is no problem. It's just that when I was at the shop, I stayed feeling somehow. So I quickly rushed to the hospital for checkup. I did some tests. What I'm seeing here is confusing me. I don't understand it perfectly well. Please explain. Honey, so you suddenly don't know how to read anymore again. Results. Yes. I am five weeks like that. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, are you joking? I'm not joking, baby. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Mm. Thank you. Yes, After God. so many years of marriage. Ah. <laughs> so finally. I, Frank, will be called the father. Me and God. I will call the mother. Oh. <laughs> Very big. Very big. <laughs> Anything. <laughs> Jesus. Go in there. Pack all your belongings and get out of my house. And I said I am not going. Eh? In case you've forgotten, this house does not belong to you. It belongs to my late auntie, Auntie Vivian. So you have no right whatsoever to ask me to leave this house. The only person that has such power is my father because he is the f head of this family. Even if he decides to take such decision, I'm not going anywhere. Look at you. You're not even ashamed of yourself. We sent you to school to go and study. You came back with unwanted pregnancy. And you don't even know the stupid idiot that got you pregnant because you were busy opening your legs for every dick and hair that comes your way. Mm -hmm. What sort of person are you? I am eh? the kind of person you gave birth to, so you should know. Don't worry. Let your father come back. You must leave this house today. Mm. My father. As for that one, I don't even know what to tell him because he has no shame. Eh? But anyway, when we get to the bridge, we cross it. Hey, hey! Are you this shameless now? You're so shameless, Isabella. Look at you. You're just 18 years old. Eh? But see how you're looking old like a woman who have had 70 children already. Mommy, that one is your business. So. It's my body, not your body. Why am I even standing here, running my mouth, wasting my time with you? That's why you do not look like your father, you do not look like me. Who did you even resemble, sir? Isabella. Hey! Chimu, how did I come about this kind of daughter? Can you just tell me what happened here a few days ago? Why are you so quiet? What is? Amaka? Come out here. Come and tell me what you told me on the phone that happened here a few days ago. Are you okay? Yes, ma'am. Uh, it happened a few days ago when Steve came to the car. Joy was the one that saved him. She served him two bottles and when he requested for extra one, she refused giving him. I don't know, they were like having an argument and she went to get of telling him that he had a problem and drinking will not solve the problem. Steve felt insulted and was like, he walked out and said he would not come again. That was why he turned from me. Joy, is that true? Auntie, it's true. But I was, I was just advising him. You know, he, he drinks... Will you keep quiet? Advising him on what? As his legal advisor, what? 
So when do you start advoc advocating for him? Do you know what you have cost me? Steve is one of my best customers. And you've just sent him away. Can you repay back all the loss in this shop? Gee, I'm sorry. Will your son bring him back to the shop? Do you know the damages you've cost? Gee, I'm sorry. Will you think I said so sorry yourself? You know what, I think. What's your problem? What wrong have I done to you? Is it, is, have I done wrong by bringing you to this shop, by helping you? And you just choose to destroy my, 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 my business? What's your problem? Auntie, I didn't mean to. I'm sorry, Auntie. You know what? Just keep that story to yourself. Um, Amaka, okay. help her to the car. You will find her luggage, let her go with it. And never you show your face again here. Auntie, boy. Don't ever again show yourself. Do you hear me? Auntie, Auntie, I'm sorry, Auntie. You can't go, just chase me Can like that. Can you leave that out? Will you go away from here? Nonsense. Drain her. And let this serve as a warning to all of you. When they start seeing so any of my customers, just consider yourself out of this place. How come I get out of this hotel for you? Rubbish. Mr. Advisor, I want to advise him. Nonsense. Uh, 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 yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What, what's really going on? I saw the lady, uh, Joy. Yeah, that is not that stupid joy that you saw, got insulted last time that you came. Yes, yes. I just have just to chase her away. Yeah, she didn't answer me when I when I beckoned on her yeah, to ask her. Yeah, I chased her away. You chased her? You chased her away? Yes. What for? Because I don't want them to get you insulted again. Are you serious? That that that, that girl did something very important. I mean, that girl is very significant to my life. You know? No, I mean, why? I don't get it. No, no, why, 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 why? Steve. Hey! Uh, Steve, Oga Steve, please just leave me alone. Just leave me alone. You have succeeded now. You have, you have, you have succeeded in sending me away from there. Just leave me no, alone. No, no, don't say that. Don't say that. Listen, I, I actually did feel guilty, okay? And that's the reason I also went to that place. You know, I went to the bar, you know, to check up on you. All right? Please, just, just, just let me make amends, okay? Let, let's make this right. Please. Oga Steve, do you know that I don't know? I don't know what to do. I don't even know where to go. You know, I, I, I just feel like jumping in the road so that a speedy no. vehicle will crush me. No, 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 I'm tired. No, 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 you will not do such thing, okay? Listen, there's no problem that cannot be circumvented. Let me make you smile again. Please, just follow me. Please. Please. Please, just follow me. Please, please. 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 Puts me when I was so drunk, huh? Uh, yes, yes, and I just told myself, you know, why don't I make this room a proper reference for true friendship? 
don't understand what you mean by a reference for friendship. Well, um, you know, for now, what I'll just say is relax, all right? Uh, fresh it up, enjoy yourself, be calm, everything will be okay, okay? There's no problem that cannot be circumvented. However, I have paid for one month, so need not to worry. You have paid for... Hey, Okasif, God will bless it's you. Okay. Thank you very much. It's all right, it's all right. It's all right. It's Get you stable. I mean, I'm somebody who saved his life. You know, I mean, if I had gone uh, driving that day, I would have been dead. You know, he saved my life. So I need to ricochet back at you and then make you comfortable as well. All right? Thank you very good, much. Good, good, good. And um, yeah, um, this is a hundred thousand naira. Go on, go on, go on, please. Well, Take care of yourself, whatever you want, okay? If that finishes, call me. I'll definitely, you know, plunge in some more, all right? Your breakfast has been taken care of, so eat whatever you want, order whatever you want, all right? On me, okay? Thank you so much. It's okay. It's okay. Thank you, Augustine. I have a meeting. I have to run along, okay? If it finishes, call me. I have to go. All right? Take care of yourself, okay? If you need anything, call me, okay? Thank you. Hey. And anytime you ask her to keep the change, make her return him. Do you know what you want to tell Neka? Don't mention! <laughs> anyway, since you girls are now prognosing on my private effort, I will tell you, he's just trying to call me. Mm -hmm. We are still negotiating. You know now. What are you <laughs> negotiating? Does he want to buy a car or land? No, 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 no. Or maybe he's trying to buy our friend Neka. Ah. <laughs> Look how he's talking. Bye, you. Mm -hmm. Please. Uh -huh. Hey, this is this. What are you guys discussing? So it's not there, just enjoy for you. What did I do to them now? Uh -huh. Never since Joy left here. Whenever I come to join them, they will just leave. What is all this now? Hmm. Now this is sweet. It's so nice. I'm so glad you like it. I do. <laughs> Baby girl, I do. <laughs> hmm. Wow. Yeah. Azoka. Hmm? Mm? You mean you are pregnant after so many years of marriage? <laughs> My sister, I am pregnant though. The Lord has done it. Ah. Like, I am now a complete woman. And very soon, I'm going to be a mother. I get you. <laughs> I'm so oh, happy. I am so happy for you. Mm -hmm. Congratulations. Thank you. Baby you know girl. what? You're going to be a funky mother. A what's that, girl? Uh, the way I'm looking at you, you're going to be wearing bomb shorts. <laughs> How did you know? <laughs> Maybe when you're breastfeeding your baby, you will even be twerking. You. Let me out ah. Let me out ah. <laughs> <laughs> My sister, I'm just so happy. Like, ah, the Lord has finally done it. I am the happiest. Thank you. You don't get choice now. Ah. You go happy for your friend. Congratulations, <laughs> Thank you girl. so Congrats. much. Thank ah, you, girl. Ah. See, drink up now. Tessie, drink. you're not drinking. Oh, my God. Look at what I have done to myself. Just because I wanted to play Ziken now. And I'm the only one suffering it. Just because of love. What are you talking about? Hey. Tessie. Tessie, what are you talking about? We are now in the same boat. We are now the same. People are killing my mood now, eh? My sister. My sisters. Ever since I lost my two children, it's been very difficult for me to get pregnant again. Oh, gosh. I, I have tried everything. It's like pregnancy has completely eluded me. Anywhere I hear there is power, boom, I jump. I have tried prayers. I have tried native medicine. Nothing. You know what? All of them keep saying the same thing. 
that there is a certain woman, that there is a certain lady who has placed a curse on me. What? I'm telling you. Because of something I did to her years back. Azuka, ha. just look at me now. Who did I hurt? Who, who do you think I would have offended? Hey. That, that did this to me. That's not even the point now. My husband has started sleeping with other women outside. Ah, uh -uh, now. Has he got into that stage? That is it. That is it. Hey. Men. Men, oh. Hey, oh. My sister, now what are you planning to do? Because I want to know what is your next action. <laughs> Azoka, if you ask me, who do I ask? As I'm sitting down here, I am as confused as anything. No, you don't. Hey, you, you don't need to be confused, though. Hey, hold on, game. What, what am I going to hey, do? Do something. You need to come out of this situation. How? How? <sighs> ah, no, no. I this have is tried too much. basically everything. Nothing, nothing is working. When I go, they tell me the same thing. One lady, one lady. What am I supposed to do? Who is this lady? I don't know. Where is this lady from? I don't know. So, what, hey. am, what am I supposed to do? God, this is serious. Ah, serious is an understatement. Look at our sister, Tessie, here. Before you know it now, the husband will say, Oh, I want to marry a second wife because there is no child. What? Second wife? No, he can't even try it. If he tries that, I will make sure I kill both of them. Marry second wife. What for? No. <laughs> this, one, this one is still talking. He don't, she doesn't even know She's men. She's bitter now. I know. You forgot how you can have treated her. Uh -huh. ah, any man that does any rubbish now, she go, you want to go? <laughs> second Azuka, wife. Azuka, this is not funny. <laughs> Azuka, this is not even funny. No, I'm just trying to cheer you guys no, up now. No, no, eh? it's not funny. She doesn't even know men. <laughs> See, Men. see you guys, please just take it easy. I believe with time, everything will be fine. I'm, I'm just trying, I'm trying. Everything will be fine. <laughs> no, 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 seriously, seriously, I'm telling you. Jesus I'm Christ, telling you. are you serious? Yes, Madam Friska sacked that day because yeah. of the advice she gave to you. And you stopped going there. Look, exactly what I'm saying, my brother, exactly. Where? I will not blame her, maybe she's just protecting her business, you know. At least uh, I know uh, the amount uh, you would have uh, spent in her place, uh, I didn't you are going there. But I thank God at least the girls uh, made you to uh, go back to your senses. Well, you know, you know, in that respect, I'm telling you, man. <laughs> and I go to Amuka Wokesi now, I would have been gone. No, really, I would not have been here today. I'm really grateful to that girl, I'm telling you. If not for her, where would I have been today? No, seriously. Where? Like, seriously? Yes. So where is she now? Well, after she lost her job, you know, at uh, the joint, you know, I just decided to, you know, um, take her in. Okay, not into my house, you know, but, you know, to a hotel, you know, kept her there, you know. And, of course, I decided to heed to your advice, you know. I, I, I really want to know that girl. I want to know what, why she's so concerned about my case, you know. What, what, there's something really mystical and special about her. So what are you going to do now? Well, well like I said, you know... I mean, I just want to understudy her, but one conviction I have is I'm going to take care of her and make the best out of life for her. Well, I, I believe you. At least you are equal to the past. Of course. <laughs> uh, <laughs> my guy, my guy, my guy. No, seriously, and I need to know your architect. Yeah. Yeah. We have someone going, but like, seriously? yes, yes, yes. But please, if it's possible, let us have a meeting, okay? Myself, you, and your architect. Oh, okay, no problem. Okay? Uh, All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right. It's too much. Don't worry. I'll, I'll call you. All right. Okay. God, what have I done? Why did you bring me into this world? you bring me to suffer? I don't even know who my real mother is. The woman I grew up with died, leaving me to that wicked family who made life miserable for me. 
second I met Auntie Priska. A good woman. But the devil used Steve to send me away from that place. And now, here I am. even know if Steve is genuine. Like, is he even real? What do I do? I just need to take my mind off this. I'm tired. Yeah, hello. Thoughts.
coming coming So how are you? What is it you want to talk about? At least first of all, you know, reply my greeting. How are you? How are you? Mr. Steve, please, what do you want to talk about? Since I okay, I'll be big enough a man to say I'm sorry. Okay, once again I'm sorry. I've been saying this for some time now. You know, it's been three weeks now. I've been saying I'm sorry. I've been calling you. I mean you barely pick my calls, but I thank you for giving me this audience. Um you know, you know when I've when I was, you know, wallowing in my dilemma of always being drunk and then you saving me, bringing me back to normalcy after, you know, not making me drive that day and killing myself, you know, I, indeed I've been grateful. But then, you know, something in me has kept telling me to know this person more, to wonder why this person has been so interested in me, so concerned about me, you know. So with that, I, I just want to ask you. You know, and, and please, can you just please, you know, tell me more about you? I don't want to talk about myself. It makes me feel bad. So please, just change the topic. ask you a question I've been staying here now for the past three weeks so I just want to know if I'll stay here forever I'm not even doing anything I need to start doing something and you just keep giving me money if you aren't tired then I'm bothered okay um I'm actually making plans to, you know, get you somewhere to stay and, of course, uh, working as well. Okay. One more thing. Okay. Are you married? You 
Lose what you have, get what you don't have. Enjoy your life to the fullest. Forget tomorrow. One day, no time for darling. Guy, but it just goes on. If it just bad, they Mana, Guana. Enjoy your life to the fullest. Forget tomorrow. One day, no time for darling. Sounded worried on the phone. Well, what's going on? What is this? You have the paper, just read. Okay. You're pregnant? How? How, 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 how did it happen? me how it happened. You are asking me how it happened. You have ruined my life. You have ruined my life completely. You don't even know me. You, you, you don't even know where I'm from. You don't know my parents. You don't know my background. You know nothing about me. And look at what you're doing to me. Where do I start from? What do I do? Oh, just, just calm down. Calm down, please. Okay, you just calm down. Okay. Put yourself together, okay? Um, so what are you going to do about this pregnancy? Just give me money. Give me money, let me abort it. And I say no. You will not abort this baby. No. lost two children in the space of two months and since then my wife hasn't been able to conceive again that's the reason i've been so worried that's the reason i've been drinking and you saved my life you stopped me from drinking so you see you're god sent and right now you're pregnant so please i beg of you please please just just let me take care of you with this baby. Let me take care of you till you give birth. Then, how about your wife? Like, how? Look, just forget about my wife, okay? I'll handle her. I'll handle her, trust me when I say that. Look, I beg you. I beg you, you can't abort this baby. You will move into my house and I will take care of you till you give birth. Please. To your house? Yes. My house. Please. Well, so baby, um... Because my wife is so trendy, you know, she's so classic, she's got the ABCs of womanhood, I got her these wonderful clothes. All your colors you like, you know, you told me you needed something of this color, right? Those are shoes, you know, luxury shoes, trust me, you like them and great colors you definitely like. And um, with a little or no help, I was able to get, you know, some clothes, yes. Um, of course, I know what my wife likes and I know what fits her wonderful body. Yes, and uh, again, I, you know, did a little stopover at a very, very classic boutique and I got my wife, you know, some nice things there too. Honey, all this for me? Of 
course for you. Thank you. It seems as if we just got married today. Oh, come on, darling. I am my wife. And I, I love you. Come on, if I don't buy this for you, who will I buy for? Ah, uh, okay. Thank you. Honey, stop now. Don't be in that euphoria of us still quarreling. Come on. You know? I'm, you know, I'm surprised. Like, <laughs> there's so, so much. Thank you. I appreciate them. Thank you. Maybe just thank you. Uh, uh, what else? You're just going to say thank you. Thank you. I appreciate them. They are nice. Guess what, okay? They are nice. I want you to... After this kiss on your beautiful... Oh, please don't even go there. Baby, no? come Oh, on. so you come were on. trying to bribe me I with all this, right? I am not trying to bribe you. I'm just telling you to stand no, up. No, that's what it is now. Stand up. Please, don't even Annie, start. Honey, come, come. No, 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 no. Oh, is that why you got Baby, me all this Baby, come things? now. Oh. Come on. There's a grand finale to this, huh? See, there's this nice place I'm going to take you to. Huh? Hey, I don't want... Babe, oh, come on, come on, come on. We're just gonna like be in one place. We're just oh. gonna travel. Okay, we're gonna travel with you and I. Okay, oh, really God, nice. We're travel. gonna go so deep, baby. Oh, so deep. I don't like baby, come on. You were just trying to bribe baby, I'm me. not bribing you, okay? I'm just trying to remind you of some sweet things you have in here. Huh? Baby, but you come. know I don't like You don't like it. what, I don't huh? Like Baby, stop, oh. okay? Whatever it is, just keep telling me, stop it, I like it, stop okay? Stop it, I don't like it. Stop it, I stop like it. it. I That's what like you have to keep it. saying. Say, stop it, I like stop it. Stop it, I don't. Is it you're still awake? Yes. Um, um, we, we need to talk. Oh, honey, what is it that cannot wait till tomorrow morning? I'm really feeling sleepy. Please, please, my love. Um, tomorrow might be too late, okay? I mean, I, I feel this is the right time, you know, for proper audience. I'm sorry. Okay, what is it? You said this, you see, like two times. What's, what's happening? Yes, yes. Uh, um, you see, so, some some things sometimes happen, all right. And 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 life is all about chances and changes, and 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 and, and, and you know things happen. You know we feel are wrong, but right in the sight of God. Mm -hmm. You know. Um, 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 Man proposes, God disposes. Honey, what are you saying? You're just beating around the bush. You're not making any sense. <laughs> what, what, what are you going straight okay. to the point, All please? Right. Okay. Um, 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 what, I'm, what I'm trying to say, in essence, is, um, you, you remember when, when, you know, I, I was always drunk. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, you know, when I was always worried, and of course, you have noticed. You know, months. Now I haven't <laughs> been yeah. drinking. Mm -hmm. I've not been coming home late. Yeah. Yes. Uh, well, this is because I, I got myself into a kind of situation. You know. Yes. Yes. Okay. Of which uh, one of these I was actually drunk, and you know, if I had gone behind the steering to drive back home, trust me, I would have been dead. We wouldn't be having this conversation. God right forbid. Now. Yes. God forbid. <sighs> and, 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 and the person who who actually made this happen, you know. Uh, you know, stopped me from actually driving that day I was drunk. Oh, yes. good summer returned. Yes, yes, oh. yes, yes. God bless the person. Huh? Yes, yes. Yeah. God, 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 bless God bless the person. person yes, yes. yes. Um, um, so you see, um, after after that event, okay, after that event, you know, I, 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 
kind of got intrigued and I wanted to know her. You know, we, we now, you know, I started asking questions, we started talking, started seeing each other, you know, and we started, you know, you know, getting, you know, to know each other. And, um, uh -huh. yes. Um, in, in getting to know her, you know, and us, you know, talking, um, yeah, and, um, yeah, um, um, Yes, what is with this, um, um, go straight to the point, yes. Uh, the, the truth of the matter is that she's pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Steve, you are always so funny. Eh? <laughs> this is my husband. You should have been a comedian, honestly. <laughs> no, I don't want to believe I heard you clearly. But wait, were you, were you actually talking to me? Less and wicked. Uh -huh. <laughs> now everything is adding up. That was why you bought me those expensive gifts. Just to shut me up. <sighs> Steve, do you know one thing about you? You lie with a very straight face. You lie and you just do these things with just keeping this innocent face. Ah, Steve, do you even have a heart? What have I done to you? What? No, what, what have I done to you? Is it because we lost our son because of my mistake? But I apologized. Ah, Steve. You got another woman pregnant just to punish me. And, and you think this is the best form of punishment? Thank you. Thank you very much. Ah, perfect husband. What a perfect gift you have given me. Thank you. At least I'll be able to sleep well. Thank you. Congratulations. You know, by this time you should actually applaud yourself. You are doing well. In fact, you have done well. Congratulations. What is this? What is what? What? No, seriously, what is this? Look, for three days now I've been talking to you. For three days I've been pleading. Trying to talk to you. I mean, you're not ricocheting anything back at me. You've just been all mute. So what is this? What's this? You're being on a high horse. 
What is going on? Why are you behaving like some devil? Oh, yes. I am the devil. And you know what? You made me the devil. You brought out the devil in me. And you sit down here and talk about forgiveness. That will never happen. It will never happen. It will never happen. You heard me. Okay. <clears throat> Joy is moving in. She has my child in her, and I say she's moving in. She will move in with my unborn child into the house of the unborn child's father to be born within the circuit. Yes, and there's nothing you can do about it, all right? That is on period. And I'll tell you this, if anything happens to her, trust me when I say this without missing words candidly, I'll kill you. If you do not like what is about to be done or what is going to go on or what will be, do yourself that favor. Pack your things and leave my house. Thank you. Liar. You lie. You lie! Because I am going nowhere. And there is no way that fool will step her feet into this house. Else! I reserve my comment. She's pregnant for you? Yep. Of course she's pregnant. Yeah. That's it. It is what it is, man. And uh, who is going to take care of the baby? What kind of question is that? Me, of course. Yes, I'll take care of the baby. I mean, I mean I've uh, asked uh, Joy and she has said, um, you know, she's going to keep the baby and I'll take care of them until she gives birth. That's it. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. You get that severe. But wait, oh, let me ask you, my guy. This girl in question, do you even know her parents? Joy's parents? Bro. You know, my good friend, I've asked Joy several about her parents. But, you know. Bro, the truth of the matter is this, okay? I have severally asked Joy about her parents, okay, but she's never said a thing about them. Yeah. Meaning? Meaning what? But let me ask you, what about your wife? Did she know about it or didn't tell her about that? My wife? Well, um, yeah. She's been naturally uncomfortable, she's been shouting, she's been raking, trying to raise the roof off. But you know what? I am the man, okay? I am the man and that is it. It is what it is. There's nothing that's going to go on. She's going to come into my house. Joy will move in and she will have the baby. That is it. My word is born. Simple. We do. Let me ask you. Are you sure this girl she's going to be comfortable in my house? Of course she'll be comfortable in my house. Nothing will happen. I know what I'm asking you. I know what I'm saying. If you're not in control of your own house, I'm in control of mine, okay? Joy will move in and my wife will do nothing and that baby will come out. Simple. No, seriously, what's, what's that are you on? Huh? You're happy for me and at the same time you're telling me it's not good. It's what okay, are you talking okay, about? No problem, no problem. I won't, I won't say anything again, okay? It's okay. That is my child, and we have to toast to my child coming through. Yeah, if you say so, I say so. You, you should be happy for me. Drink up. You should be happy for me. 
I know behind you, you don't I feel happy, happy for me. No, 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 no. You act like you don't be on my side, but you're asking what? me too many questions, no man. I'm not asking again, but good, I'm good. Then Wait. drink. So it's been you. Ma, do you remember me? Ma, I'm the girl that came to your shop to buy juice and wine when you were sitting absent-minded. I was trying to talk to you, but then you harassed me. Oh, really? So, you've been the one messing around with my husband? Norma. <laughs> what? What's Norma? But uh, that is what it is. Hey, madam, eh? So, do, since you came last, since that day you came, we do not see you again. I will hear you are Joy's mother. Is she back? Back, what? Joy can never come to this house again. She will never step her foot in this house again. Not after all the suffering she has been through in this house. That girl has gone awful. That girl has suffered. They suffered that girl to the, to the bone marrow. That girl suffered too much now, madam. She suffered too much. She suffered. Oh, the job is. So, do you have any idea where she might be? I don't have any idea. But madam, the issue today is... Why didn't you, didn't you come since? Came here, there are since, since, how many years? Nobody see you. It's a long story and you won't understand. Okay, what of what of madam? What of your madam and her husband? My madam is out. The wicked daughter, God punish her. She got pregnant with one man that has four children already. And the wicked mother again dashed out to the to the to the man. But Chike, the good one, that always stands for joy. He's always standing for joy every time. He got scholarship. So I'm talking to you now. Chike is studying in UK. <laughs> then the wicked one, Ometebulu, my Oga, he's very, very sick now. Very, very sick down to his mother. His apamuna has issues. I don't know if you understand what I mean. Because of all the suffering they did to Joy. Every day, every day. So what, what did he do to her? Madam. Many things. What the hell? I said this guy suffered, so madam. Madam, you should, have, you, should have, you should have been here. Be able to wipe forever. One day, morning, afternoon, night, she'll be crying. It's not nice now. Hi. Do you have any picture of her? Picture. I had a picture of this girl. So, we took pictures together. I am the... But the only small problem I have now, my phone got spoiled. And it was the battery. So my friend asked me, I told my friend, he said, go and send my phone and buy battery, a good battery. So I, I sold the phone. I bought a good battery. When I came back 
to my duty post. I remember that there's no phone to put the battery. So I kept the battery, like, I kept it safe, I'll buy phone. Then, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I need to buy phone to put the battery. Well, then I said the battery back, then I'll buy another phone. Madam, you're going. Madam, you need to find your daughter. You need to find her. That girl is suffering. Look for her everywhere. Open the door. You have to go to the door. Find her. Look at That woman into our home. Just tell me, what have I done? Then I will apologize. <sighs> why, why, why are you doing this? You know, Tochi, seriously, okay? Seriously, I'll tell you this, all right? I don't like the angle this conversation is going. Really, I don't. Yes, I'm saying it. This is the truth. Okay, it might be morally wrong what I did, all right? But God knows the right time for things to happen, and now is the time. That is it. What's all right, but nothing changes anything. You're my wife. That is it, too. So be calm. Steve, tell me. Do you intend to make her your second wife? What is wrong with you? Why are you jumping the gun? Why are you trying to jump the gun? Why are you trying to be faster than your own shadow? I just want to... Just wait until the baby comes, first of all. That's it. Steve, I just want to be sure. Well, wait until the baby comes out first. That means you may consider her as your second wife oh tomorrow or something. God. That means it's too early to start discussing this kind of a thing. It's too early to get into this kind of conversation, really. And it's too early because I have a job. I have work to do. Thank you. Have a nice day. Have a nice day, my wife. Steve, you're, you're not working. Bye. Steve, we need to discuss this once and for all. <sighs> Oh, what a day, what a day, what a day. Ah, damn, what a day. What a day. Oh my God, what a day. Steve, what was the meaning of what you just did now? What was the meaning of what? What was the meaning of that attitude you just displayed now? I was sitting down there waiting for you patiently to come back. And you just came back and you walked me as if I don't even exist. And you went straight to go and kiss that girl. Hey, why? Mama, stop it, stop it. Is that why you're ranting? Stop it. I didn't kiss anybody. No, I didn't kiss anybody. I just went straight to her, yes, and I kissed her. Tell me why? Because my unborn child is there. That's it. So why are you ranting? Why are you making noise? Me, Tochi, I am making noise. Yes, you're making noise. Because of that thing. Hey, 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 you will stop it right now. Don't call her a thing. She's a living human being, okay? She's a human being. Her name is Joy. She's the mother of my unborn child. And she's living here. So you take it or leave it. That's how things stand. And please, 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 don't push me. Don't push me. Really? Don't push me. Really? It's okay. We shall see. We shall see. Um, please, what's going on? Don't worry, sir. She's fine. I'll doctor. Uh, she's fine. fine. Yes. Okay, well, but what's going on? What's up with the doctor? I mean, can you tell me something? She's fine, sir. What do you mean she's fine? Yes, I mean, you have to, have to tell me something. At least talk to me. Let me know what's going on. Ah. That fool are in the hospital waiting for her to deliver. Hey, what if she delivers a baby boy? No, I'll be 
finished. No. God, please. Please don't let this happen to me. I still want my matrimonial home in peace. Please, don't let this happen to me. God, please. Don't let this happen to me, please. Maybe she should just have a still birth. Yes, still birth. Yes, that will be better. She wants to come and reap where she did not sow. Fool. She wants to come and take over my husband. By the time she has a still birth, I'll have my husband. I'll have my husband back all to myself. Still birth. That is what she'll have. Congratulations, Steve. Huh? Your wife delivered a bouncing baby boy. <laughs> You're joking. No, I'm not joking. You're joking. No, no, no. A bouncing baby boy. Yes, yes. Congratulations. Yes. 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 yes! <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. Can I go see them? Of course. Huh? I'll go see them. Yes. Okay. Yeah, okay. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome once again. Thank you, dear. How are you? I'm fine, no, I'm fine. So, how is your son? Huh? That one. Very troublesome. Hey! This boy is at this age and he's this troublesome. I wonder when he grows up, what is going to be? Mike Tyson. <laughs> ah. You said, like father, like son. I, I, you should know the husband you got married to now. A lion does not birth a goat. You can say that mm -hmm. again, no. <laughs> That reminds me, sweetheart, mm. when you called me, you were not sounding okay. Is everything all right? Azuka, I'm not, I'm not okay. Everything, everything is not okay. I'm in serious trouble. That girl wants to take over my home and my husband. Uh, what happened? Like, what has she done this time around? First, she moved into the house. And my husband said immediately she puts to birth that he will just pay her off and she will go. Uh -huh. But now is a month and a few days. She's still here. So I, I, I don't even know what is going on again. Hey! Eh? Is he planning to marry her or what? That is what it's looking like. Azuka, that is what it's looking like. I'm, I'm suspecting them. I'm oh, suspecting. Oh, this is serious. Um. Is she around now? Like, if you don't mind, I would like to talk to her. Eh? That's if you don't mind. Uh, Azuka, you do that for me. Babe, we'll be friends for like the one. Oh. I can do anything for you. Call that girl, let me talk some senses to her. Thank like you so take much. Take over my friend's house. Hey, Azuka, I, I really appreciate it, but... Don't call that girl. <laughs> though, though we don't talk, I don't really talk to her. It's uh, alright, just call her. Just eh, call her, give eh. everything to me. Me? Okay, just me. Azuka. I, I always knew I could count on you. Just Thank me, you. Oh, Thank you. Let me, let me call her. Thank you. Like, um, two minutes. Eh? Yes. Oh, okay. Okay. Good day, ma. Hello, darling. Good day, ma. Good day, my darling. How are you? I'm fine. Um, come and sit down. Ah. You don't want to sit down. It's fine. What's your name? My name is Joy. What a beautiful name. Joy. Wow. Sweetheart, you look so humble. <laughs> um, though my friend told you told me so many things about you, but 
looking at you, I don't think those things will be true. Because you look so responsible, isn't it? <laughs> Thank you, ma. You're welcome. You're welcome. Um, the thing is, come. Just come, please. Um, I want to tell you something. Let it be between you and I, okay? Don't tell anybody. Um, do you love your son very well? Like you can do anything to keep your son with you? Yes, ma. You can, right? Then take your stand in this house. Be the woman in this house. Do not allow any other person to take your position. This mansion is your house. The man is your man. He's your husband. Do not allow anybody to come between you and your son. Do you understand? I don't understand, ma. You don't understand. Go inside there. Digest what I just told you. By the time you're alone, I believe everything will make sense to you. Do you understand? Go. You can go now. I will cut to you for me. Thank you, ma. Don't forget what I said. How did it go? Oh, you do where you go. I finished her. I told her everything. See, I said if I see you here when next I come, I give you up forever. I finished her. Azoka. Hey. <laughs> Thank you is so. It, is it me? <sighs> me, Azoka. Azoka, what could I have done Just without you? Days. In three days' time, if you see this girl here, half a marble Azoka. Azoka, I knew I could always count on you. Really? Leave this girl three days. If you come here in three days time and you see this girl here, have a marble as well. Thank you so much. You're welcome, welcome, my darling. You. Anything for you. In fact, <laughs> every woman deserves a friend like you. you to go? <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome, <laughs> darling. Thank you. Oh my what god. Are for me? Oh my god. Thank you. At least she will finally leave my house. Leave. You know, like ah, house. Look at a small girl. Small girl. Can you imagine? Now about J into two. Thank you. Azuk. Thank you. Thank you. Is this woman even real? What do I do? Do I listen to her? Well, on a second thought, she is right. I just can't leave my son to that wicked woman. What if she hurts him? Or even kill him? And then Steve has not even asked me yet. What do I tell him if he asks? God, I just... I don't want anything to happen to my son, please. I really need your wisdom on this. I really don't want anything to happen to my son. Yes. Okay, what are your plans now? Well, um, I've decided to take the bull by the horn. Yes, I, I must admit, I, I'm currently, you know, falling in love with Joy, and uh, I would want to ask for her hand in marriage. Yes, that's it. I mean, she's the mother of my child, and I cannot, you know, possibly just let my child be in the hands of Tochi. No. The right thing to do is to get the mother of my child in legally. So, with that, I'll take the plunge and ask Joy for her parents and tell her I need to see them. Well, I like the idea. So, uh, when are we going? Well,. <laughs> Ah, man, <laughs> look, I said I'm going to discuss with her first of all, okay? So I'll discuss with her, ask her for her parents, and then I'll give you an answer. Well, I'm happy with you, man. <laughs> I'm happy for you, my God. Yes, I'm happy for you, at least, finally. <laughs> finally. Finally. <laughs> finally. So let's drink to that. Let's cheers. Oh, toast mm. to good life. Good life. 
better friendship, yeah, more power to our pockets, and yeah. taking care of our families. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> nice. <Bob's gone. laughs> hey, Baba. Baba. You're so cute. Are you hungry? When are you leaving my house because you have long overstayed your welcome? And this wasn't the agreement. What was the agreement? The agreement was for my husband to take care of your pregnancy until you deliver. And after that, you drop the baby and leave. But you have put to bed and you're still here, so I, I, I don't really understand what is going on. So you expect me to drop my baby for you? But that was the agreement. So that you can kill him or what? Meaning? Meaning that you are wicked. Chilo. Mua butocha. Wicked. Yes. You are wicked. It is written all over you. Look, I will stay here as long as I want. You are not the man of the house. Did Steve ask me to leave? So whether I stay here or not, it's none of your business. Ah! Will you shut up? Who are you to talk to me like that? Are you stupid or something? You open this, your gut and your mouth and, and talk to me like that. Are you crazy? Is something wrong with your brain? See, don't you ever, don't you ever try it. You slapped me. I did and I will slap you again and again and again. If you don't learn your manners. Biangma, it's like where you come from. They don't used to respect elders. But you know what? I am giving you from now till tomorrow to leave my house. If not, if not, it is just one thing. One thing that is holding me back. And that's because you are older than me. That's because you are older than me. If not, I would have given you hot hot right now. I am giving you till tomorrow. If not, if not, you will see the other side of me. I am still talking, Ashiko. What? What? Wait, you mean Tochi slapped you? And she also told me that she's giving me from now till tomorrow to leave this house. Excuse me? Excuse me? Okay. You know one thing I'll tell you is that it's okay. I'll handle that later, okay? But one thing I want to tell you is this, alright? You must disregard whatever she has done and regard what I'm going to tell you now. You came into my life. You changed my perception of life. I was always thinking. You changed that. I was always getting drunk. You changed that. You gave me that turnaround. That huge turnaround. You gave me a son. So with our son, Things must change. You have a son? Yes. Please. At this point in time, you just have to tell me where are your people? My people? Yes. What do you want from them? I want to do this right. I want to do things right, please. We have a son. I want to marry you. I don't have a father. I don't have a mother. I don't have anybody. Sorry, but what happened to them? I grew up with Mommy Vivian. I called her Mommy because... because I thought she was my biological mother. She took care of me and brought me up till this age. Then died a few years ago. 
But before she died, she told me she wasn't my biological mother. That a young girl had given birth to me in secondary school by name Tochi. So the Tochi girl was pregnant and ran away from her parents and met a doctor friend who introduced her to mommy Vivian. Then she gave birth to me and just and just dashed me to mommy Vivian and ran away after two months. Mommy Vivian never met her till she died. Although she handed me over to her sister, Auntie Esther, and her husband, who made life miserable for me. They, they tortured me that I could no longer help it. I just had to run away. And that was how I met Auntie Priska, a very good lady the owner of the bar where we met. I'm really sorry. Really sorry. So please, just, just tell me. Um, where, did they tell you anything? I'm like, you know, anything at all where, where this, you know, Tochi could be? I, I don't even know her. I have never seen her in my life. If, 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 we, if we even meet, I doubt we would be able to recognize each other. We don't know each other. Due to the suffering and torture I went through in Auntie Hester's house, I laid a curse on that woman for giving birth to me and just leaving me there. Okay. If I'm to meet her again, I will never forgive her. I will never. What is it? 
Have you come to ask me when I'm leaving? No. Because if it is, it's not possible. No, no, far from it. Uh, there's something I want to tell you, and I'm sure it's something you wouldn't have even imagined. But please, I'm begging you. At the end of the day that you find it in your heart to forgive me, please. I've already forgiven you. I don't have any problem with you. I forgave you since I came to this house. Please, my daughter, forgive me. Your daughter? I'm not your daughter. I'm your co-wife. I know, Joy. I just want to tell you something, and I'm sure it's something you wouldn't even have thought about. But please, I'm begging you. But please. Whatever it is, just find it in your heart to forgive me, please. It's fine. I have already forgiven you. I'm a very... Auntie, what is this? Auntie, please get up. Please, please, I don't like this. Please, Auntie, just stand up. Why are you kneeling for me? Please, Auntie, stand up, stand up, stand up. I, do, I, I don't like this, Auntie, please. Okay, let's sit down and talk. What is it? Joy, I am your mother, Tochi, whom you've been searching for. What do you mean? Is, is this a joke? No, it's not a joke. It happened when I was 18 years. And I was still in secondary school. I, I got pregnant and I had to run away from the house because I didn't want to abort you. I ran into a doctor friend who introduced me to Auntie Vivian. I stayed with Auntie Vivian. She took care of me until I gave birth to you. Honestly, I really wanted to come back with you, but I was scared. I didn't know how my parents would react. So I left you with Auntie Vivian and I told her I'll come back for you at the right time. But when, but when the right time came, I came back and I met Auntie Vivian's sister Esther who told me that they traveled and by the time they came back you were nowhere to be found ever since then I have been searching I have been looking for you all over the place until that day until that day I heard you tell Steve your story I I couldn't believe what, what I heard, but it was true. Joy. Since then, I've been, I've been thinking. I, I didn't know how to approach you, how to tell you, considering how I have treated you, what I've done to you, and how I abandoned you. Sorry. It's not possible. I'm sorry. It's not true. It's true. If it's true, then I hate you. Please don't hate me, my dear. I hate you! Mother. No. Mm -mm. It's, 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 it's not possible. How is this possible? How can Tochi, my co wife, like, how can she be my biological mother? The same woman I cost.
could my cousin could my cousin could my cousin be the cause of the death of her two kids I don't even know what to think anymore. Just how can? Okay, if she's my mom, how can a mother and a daughter be married to one man? Who lives and then who stays? This can't be. It, 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 it just has to be a lie. It just has to. How did she even know about Mommy Vivian or every other thing that I went through? No, no, it can't be. It just can't. Welcome. How are you? Are you okay? Mm-hmm. Are you sure? <laughs> yes, I'm fine. Something just went into my eyes. That's why they're like, I'm crying. Not like you and Tochi got into a quarrel? No, I'm fine. You're sure? Mm-hmm. And where's my son? He's sleeping. He's sleeping. And where's Tochi? Maybe in her room? In her room. Are you sure you're fine? <laughs> I'm fine, really. Why not just maybe go inside and, you know, freshen up and eat something? Yeah, sounds like a plan, but... You're okay? I'm fine. You're fine? Okay. You're sure? I'm fine. God, please. My daughter, how are you? I am sorry. I am sorry. I'll continue saying sorry until you find it in your heart to forgive me. Who is my father? Father? No, he's not. Then who is? Who is my father? Honestly, I don't know where he is. And he's a married man. I only met him once, just once, when my friend Tessie took me to him for him to help me pay my school fees. Because my parents, my parents could not pay then. And I, I was scared of, 
you know, losing my third time exams. He gave me the money and even gave me more than I asked for. And that's what it did. I slept with him in the hotel. It was months later that I discovered I was pregnant with you. And ever since, I haven't set my eyes on him again. In that case, you are telling me that I don't have a father. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, just go. Just leave me, I want to be left alone. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Hello? Tochuku, how are you? How do you mean you are not fine? Eh? You want me to come to the city? How is my son-in-law, Steve? Okay, 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 fine. I will come. It's Sunday too late. Okay, I will come. Eh? My daughter's stone. I just know that all is not well. Hi. I have to go to the city as soon as possible. Inkechi! Sit down. I'll be traveling to the city on Sunday. Auntie. Don't worry. I'll be back before you know it. Hmm? My daughter Tochuku sent for me, so I have to go. I don't know why. Hmm? And um, so, when will you be coming back? I don't know yet, my dear. I have to get there first and know why she's calling. Meanwhile, make sure you go to the farm and finish the work that is left there. I will leave some money with you that will sustain you till I come back. Okay? Okay, I'm sorry. Alright, so All you right. can go, eh? Okay. Please. And please, get me water to drink. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. What is going on? Because I'm fed up of all of this. What is going on? What's really happening? Tochi. Since your mother came, you have been nothing but teary. You've been asked, and you've said nothing. 
So please, can you enjoy telling me what is going on, please? Why all these tears? My in-law, since you came, your daughter has been crying. All right? Now, I know you're here on her invitation. So please, can you tell us something we don't know? If there is any, what is really going on? She's the one that invited me. But since I came, the only thing she told me is that this young lady seated here is your wife. I was going to Riaz, but she told me to calm down that she will still tell me more about her. But instead, she's been like this. She's been crying and saying nothing. Eh, Tochuku? What is the problem? What is so difficult for you to voice out? Or do you want to tell me in private? Please, I don't want to stay here. We have to settle this once and for all. Yes, once and for all. So you're going to sit down, like now. Sit. Now two of you are going to talk, okay? You're going to explain what is really going on. All right? Starting from you, Tochi, what is going on? Mama? Huh? Steve? There is something I've been hiding from you for a long time now. But it's obvious I cannot, I cannot continue to hide. What is it? You remember that time I went missing, right? Yes, yes. And when I came back, I told you and Papa that I was kidnapped for girl trafficking. Yes, I remember. It was a lie. Hey, Tochi. So what happened then? I was pregnant and I had to run away. Hey! Tochi! Tochuku! So what happened to the baby? I ran into a doctor who, who introduced me to his female friend, Auntie Vivian. A childless woman who took care of me until I gave birth. After which I abandoned the baby. Hey, Wachimo! Don't you go? Hey! Don't you, boom! Don't you, you have killed me! What have you done, don't you go? Hey! What a boom! Abomination! Ow! Hey! After, after I lost my two babies, after I lost my two kids, I could no longer get pregnant. Remember you took me to a native doctor who said a lady, lady cursed on me? Yes, yes, eh? what? Steve here got married to Joy here. My co-wife. It was just a few days ago that I found out that Joy is my daughter which I have years ago. Hey, Hey, you Hey, you Don't you? Don't you? You have killed me. Don't you? Don't you? What have you done? Don't you? Hey! Hey! No, 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 no. What? What? Don't, don't you? No, no, don't, 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 wait, don't, 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 uh, wait, like, you, 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 you had a daughter, you, you had, you had, you, 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 you have a daughter, and, and, and your daughter, 
lives in my house and, and your daughter is, is my wife like like I'm I'm, 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 I'm married to, to mother and daughter is, is, is that what you're what you're telling me <laughs> so, I'm going to tell you how everything happened How did it happen? <laughs> How did it happen? Listen to me, I don't understand. Is this the type of girl I'm supposed to be here to go and see your uncle? See, Tochi, if you want my uncle to help you, you have to look so sharp. Sexy. Just like this. In fact, look. Bring it down. Hey, come on, look at you. Bring it down so you look sexy. Mm -hmm. Let's that go. Way. Yes. Put over our bag and like uniforms. Don't worry, we'll come back for them. Hmm? Don't worry. Let's go. You are delaying me. And that is how my friend Tessie deceived me and took me to that hotel. <sighs> you see what impatience has cost you? The same day you went to beat that man is the same day your father gave you your school fees. <sighs> My goodness. from the depths of your heart. Every curse will be broken. Please, my daughter, please. Please. <laughs> Mommy, 
Mommy, please don't go. Just stay here. Don't leave me here alone. How can you just abandon everything? Don't leave me alone, please. It's okay, my daughter, but you know I can't stay. It is not right for one man to get married to both of us, mother and daughter. It's not right at all. I have to go, you'll be fine, okay? My daughter, your mother is right. She can't stay with you here anymore. From everything that has happened, you should understand that she doesn't belong here. Hmm? God, in his infinite mercy, used Steve here to reconnect us all. What your mother should be doing now is coming for Omo when you give birth. When you give birth. Mm? Thank you, Grandma. You're welcome, my daughter. Thank you. Mm. Here is my car key. You can have it. Mom. Yes. Oh, come on, proceed. And please, I say no. What I'm about to say now is incontestable. It's from a mother to her daughter. Joy, this is the key to my supermarket where we first met. You can have it. Let it just be my own little gift to you. My own little settlement for everything I've put you through. Okay, please don't say no, please. Just, just take it, keep it. No, it's okay, it's okay. Thank Come you. Here. Unbelievable. But now I believe what the pastor said. How could I have believed that my own daughter had a baby girl and hid it from us all these years? Hmm. Children of nowadays. You can't predict nor trust them. Oh, parents, we have a lot to do. We have to go the extra mile in raising our children. Hmm. May God help us all. Hmm. But in the end, I'm happy about my granddaughter, Joy. That is one good thing out of this whole thing. Hmm. Ah, uh, Obungbongbo na Texas. <laughs> Ibulungbongbo na Texas. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. Yeah. Uh, Bungungu, I was meaning to ask, did your boy tell you that I transferred him 70 million naira? Yeah, for the second container. Ah. <laughs> okay, that's okay. That's okay. So what of the second container? When are they going to load it? 
Oh, next week. Oh, that'll be perfect. That'll be perfect. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Obum Bungu na Texas. Okay, no problem. No problem. Okay, we'll talk to you later. Obum Bungu na Texas. <laughs> hey, honey, who was that? Uh, that's my friend, my business partner. Ah, uh, oh. See okay. that? How are you doing? You can see now I'm fine. <laughs> I used to be looking for Ah, maybe I've been kicking more. <laughs> You know, there's something I wanted to tell you. What is it? The doctor said I should come to the hospital tomorrow for oh, checkup. Oh, oh, yes. oh, 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 that's good. Mm -hmm. uh, before I forget, make sure you do a scan tomorrow when you get to the hospital. Okay. So you'll be able to determine the set of the baby, if it's a boy or a girl. Ah, come on, we don't need to do that. I already know it's a girl. You already know? Yes. And who told you it's a girl? <laughs> the way she's been kicking, like... <laughs> It's just different. I know it's, it's a girl. True. It's a boy. No, it's a girl. How oh, come on, baby? It's a girl. It's a girl. It's a know? boy. It's a girl. It's I said it's a boy. It's a girl. You know what? You know what? If it's a girl, I'm going to change your car for you. Oh my! <laughs> so make sure it's a girl. Okay, uh, let me tell you something. Uh -huh. If it's a girl, you're going to get me um, G Mercedes GLE 63. AMG. <laughs> then if it's a boy. It, if, it, if, if it's a boy, you buy me Beatles. <laughs> <laughs> oh, baby. Uh, I love the way you love me. <laughs> I don't love you. For your eyes, yeah. Mama, she be everything in day easy for your eyes, yeah. Ah, but now your hand be there, now your hand be there. If you choose go to a day, if you choose bad, be there, but mana, enjoy your life to the fullest. Forget tomorrow, one day, no time for darling. If you choose to go again, if you choose to go again, enjoy your life to the fullest. Forget tomorrow, one day, no time for darling. Guy, Molly, Marco, so. Oh, 